Hey everyone, you're listening to the official podcast of 4PlayerNetwork.com. Check us out at that address for everything you need to know about our community, monthly giveaways, and nightly live streams. You can even support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash 4player. And last but not least, you can catch the live recordings of these podcasts every single Thursday night on our Twitch channel. We hope to see you there. Enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome to 4Player Podcast. This is uh, episode, what episode is it? 741, I think. This is our first show of 2023. Uh, my name is Nick Henderson, and I have I am joined tonight by Brad Simons. Hello. Nolan Hedstrom. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Christopher Guthridge. Hello. Christopher Davis. Happy New Year. And Carlos. I think the last time I was on a podcast was a year ago, exactly. Well, really? You were on the yeah. you were on a revival club podcast with me, weren't you? We we talked yeah, about those, uh, those the dark count the dark those don't count. How dare you? <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, welcome to the show. I'm very very excited. Uh, like I said, this is our first show of 2023, uh, and we're doing something a little bit different this year. Normally, at this time of year, we open up the year with our comprehensive preview show where we typically we run through a, a huge list of games that are slated for release or expected to release in the coming year um this year we're doing something totally different we are taking part in a uh fantasy critic league um and i'm gonna let in a second i'm gonna let brad kind of explain how this all works um in fact i'll just go ahead and let you, i'll just turn it over to brad and let him start because i was you know oh man how i, I kind of wish i had work. like some I kind of wish I had like a Monday night football soundboard because I'm hearing the music in my head right now. Yeah. We can maybe come up with something for the audio. Copyright strike. Okay, okay. I said a soundboard. I'm not going to get copyright strike Do you have the express written consent of the National Football League? Let me explain my role. Well, so y'all play fantasy football. We're all, you know, jocks here. Yes, clearly. Clearly. Um. So, uh, yeah, it's like fantasy football and we're going to draft games onto our teams, but instead of, um, yeah, instead of players, we have games and instead of a team, I guess we are, we have made up our own publishers. Do publishers. Say y'all's names. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, 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 why don't we do this in the, cause we've already, before we started recording, we dictated the, uh, we had a randomly generated order. So why don't we go down the, in the order we're going to be drafting tonight. Uh, so Nolan, what is the name of your publisher? Uh, my publisher is Middle Out Entertainment. All righty, Middle Out Entertainment. What and... does that mean? You know, it's it's hard to explain, uh, really, uh, especially over thing. audio. Is it a butthole thing? <laughs> uh, definitely not a butthole thing. Hmm. Then I have no idea. All right, I well, understand. he's going to remain mysterious, but his, his publisher is Middle Out Entertainment. Uh, I'm going second, and uh, this will be pretty easy for people to figure out. Mine is Dark Passenger Entertainment. I don't think there's any oh. explanation really necessary there, <laughs> if you know me. <laughs> Sounds like I, thought it, I thought it said, again, maybe the text is a little small on the site, Fantasy Critic, uh, but I thought it said Dork Passenger Entertainment. Uh, <laughs> maybe I need to up the resolution. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe you need to get glasses. Uh, also, I'm gonna note that Nick's originally was Dark Passenger Incorporated, and I, so he copied my entertainment. I did, Dang. yes, I did. I did change it to to entertainment uh, because I would have chosen Incorporated if 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 I didn't know I had that option. We could always I was change it. To be original. We can always yeah, we change, change the names. Um, Carlos is going third. Carlos, what is uh, what's your publisher's? <laughs> <laughs> publisher name is Chris Davis was right because for the past few years looking at y'all's top 10 videos oh, shut the, fuck up. the man does not miss he <laughs> is the one reason he makes a good why top I'm 10 still video. following <laughs> 4 player podcast the, the one the one the one true god Chris Davis by the way uh, it's, it's a great Except opportunity for the to... <laughs> this is a great opportunity to mention uh, our, of course our last last week we did our 2022 award show it's out there go check it out we went through 14 categories uh, talked about a bunch of games that came out in 2022 also our top 10 videos and honorable mentions are up on YouTube we have one more coming I think from Ed uh, but yep. my videos out Brad videos is out and Brad's videos out and Chris Davis is is out there so go check it out I have a list from crispy I don't have one from Nolan yet but we're pretty close and we should have our final kind of year, 2022 year in review kind of sewed up I'll get that 
that up on fourplayernetwork.com as soon as it's done. Um, but yeah, go check out Chris those Davis. videos. Chris what? Davis, what's your team name? My team name is Extensive Enterprises. Is there it is a okay. wholly owned conglomerate that is uh, completely above board and is certainly not uh, partially funded by a ruthless terrorist organization determined in the real world. And it is extensive. What? <laughs> uh, was that actually what Cobra used as their front company in GI Joe? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. It, it, it right. sounds like it's a company run by dolphins. <laughs> My <laughs> publisher's name is Jimmy's Jim Joint. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. We produce Jimmy's. And uh, Crispy. Crispy. My company is called Silver Harp Interactive. Uh, it is named after my favorite D and D character Nerd! of all time. Yeah, and, and this is like, I, and when I put the two words together, I was like, man, this sounds like one of those companies that got that got started in like 1978 by a couple of hippies, and then like they kind of floundered in the 80s, and then made like one good adventure game in the 90s, and now have been like coasting and got like bought up by a major studio. Yeah, then like, ports fucking. I don't know. Game they made a comeback and then something. published Kingdoms of Amalur or some random yeah, shit. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and, then, and, then, and then got shuttered but sold all of their assets to somebody else who just took the name and opened it back up and was like, man, remember, remember Silver Harp Interactive and how cool those games were back in the day? Exactly. Um, yeah, so actually. in television. Okay, well, let me finish the rules now that we've gone down the list. So we're Ex- each going to us. draft eight eight games tonight. Yep. Um, it is going to be a snake draft, which means no one's going to go first. And by the time it gets back to Crispy, he's going to pick two games and it's going to reverse. And we're going to go back the other way. And until we all pick eight games. Now, it doesn't end there because after E3, we are going to do a mid-year update video slash draft where we pick four more games. But instead of like tonight, we are actually going, we each have a hundred bucks, fake bucks, to bid on games and the other four slots on our list are going to be games that we, yeah, we obtain via auction. Now um, we can, there are some rules, but ultimately by the end of the year, we are going to sort of tally up our scores based on the scores that are on open critic. Now, well, well we are, have it, to, this is a good opportunity to mention. We are doing it all of this through uh fantasy So it, oh, yeah. it's all kind of tracked and, and all that's kind of handled for us. Actually, it keeps track yeah. of the open critic scores and all that. So, but why don't and you go ahead and explain the, the point system? The point, the way the point system works is if your game gets a 70, then you get zero points. If your game does not ship, in that year and it's still on your list you get zero points now for every point above 70 you get a point so if it's a 75 you get five points if it's an 85 you get 10 points and i believe any point over 90 which is rare for video games these days you get except two for points. one that no one's gonna pick um you get two <clears throat> points per point so if i don't know tears of the kingdom gets a 95 on metacritic instead of 25 points you would get 35 points which is bullshit <laughs> uh, now that I think about it. Yeah. I have a so, question. What, yes. What's up? Are are we gonna be like periodically like as these games come out, checking back during the podcast, like like yes. looking at the big board yes. and see where everyone stands yes. after that the is, big releases? That is the plan. The conversation we had is maybe like the last podcast of every month we'll kind of go over our standings. Yeah. Uh, and there there are rules um which we don't necessarily have to get into here before we start maybe we could talk about it at the end or kind of take a break after a break but you do have the option to drop games if for example they uh the the studio announces that the game's not going to ship that year you have the opportunity to drop that game i think we have um and depending on what kind of drop it is like if it's a if this the studio saying hey we're not gonna we're gonna not gonna release this game you can drop those games but you have to you know you have to bid on games to replace that you it. want to add back so you have to think about you know how much money you have you might not be able to get the kind of good games you want the other thing is that we're going to do tonight besides draft these um eight games is we're going to do two counter picks now counter I, picks. I believe nick you have it set up to where you can do one counter pick later but i think we should all do them both tonight because that's exciting so what counter picks do is um it's sort of like you bidding on a game that someone else picked that you think is either going to one do poorly or two not come out because 
if the because if um like for example if nick were to pick days gone right and <laughs> Uh, you think it's going to score low, you counterpick it because you get every point under 70 if it were to score 70. Like that would be, you know, you could get five points if it was a 65, right? Which is honestly kind of hard with the baseline being 70. That's why really what you're shooting for is zero because the dangerous part of a counterpick is if you pick a game that actually scores really well, like you counterpick a game that ends up scoring an 85, or does come out and scores an 85. That eats you into your points. Lost 50, you oh. lost 15 points. So counter picks are scary and you got to be really smart and pick games that you are really confident are not actually going to ship. So you can not be, you get that zero, which is honestly safe or a game that you think is going to be really low. Now the mm-hmm. twist with the counter pick is if you, if your game gets counter picked, you can no longer drop it. So <laughs> If someone counterpicks a game that they really feel like is not going to come out, and then the next day the studio says, our game's not going to make it, it's going to come out next year, it doesn't matter. You're stuck with that goose egg. You can't drop the game. You can't replace it with something else. So there's some strategy. You're trying to find, pick games that might screw over other people, but at the same time, you you want to be, you know, it's, it's, it's iffy, right? Like, for example, if some big budget game that's slated for winter you really don't slips, think it's going to come it's, out, but if it, it slips, but it does, and it gets like a ninety, you just lost twenty points. You could have maybe fucked over that other person. So you got to you got to be smart with your counter picks. That's why I think we should do both tonight because it's kind of fun. Honestly, I think the most nerve wracking part of the draft is counter picking. Um, it's funny because I didn't ca- think about it I that believe- way until just now, and now I'm terrified. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now the ca- the counter pick order is that is that. Does I mean, I think the order of the draft. Uh, I think so. It, it's actually on the FAQ. I'll, I'll check real quick. Um, or maybe it's reverse. I don't actually know. Or well, we can't do that until the very end anyway. So we'll get an yeah, answer before we, we can't get there. Do it till the very end. So, so, but that, yeah, I mean, so that's how the scoring works. That's how the kind of the order works. And, you know, uh, if, if a game um, isn't early access, it doesn't actually hit 1.0, then it doesn't count as a released game. And um, you better hope you have time to drop it and find something better. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. So this is well, you know, no one's raising why, why his hand. Why do I raise my hand, Nick? Why oh, do I raise sorry. my hand? Uh, your hand was hiding behind my microphone. You. I couldn't see. Sorry. Um, I, I pulled up the FAQ. Counter picks are just like the snake draft, but they start in the opposite order. So when we get to mm, counter picks, okay. Crispy's gonna go first. I'll Ooh, go so Crispy, you get first counter pick. That's good. Ooh. That's good. And then Nolan gets to pick both of his counter picks at the same time, <laughs> which is actually very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If anybody here can do it, it's Nolan though. Um, I I have a question real quick. If you don't what's mind. your question? Yeah. So our league, we're going to be picking twelve games total tonight. We can choose whether we want to do a regular slot or a new game franchise slot. Yes. Okay. So you have the ability to set special slots. So we have we have to pick eight tonight. So we've specified three special slots. It means three of the games on everybody's list have to be new game franchises. And that's just the tag. That's kind of the default setting. It means you can't pick eight sequels or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take at least, Uh, you have to take at least three chances on three new franchises is basically what it's saying. Okay. Yeah. I got to figure it out. Fantasycritic.com. Chris Davis is over here like, I got my list figured out. Like, he's not going to lose shit left and right and be so upset. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Like, I know. I got deep picks, baby. We all have deep, deep picks. picks. We want you to pick your deep, weird picks because I don't think those are going to score well. I'm going to pick with but my that's, heart. That's the name of the game. So so here, here's the thing, right? Especially when you get further down in the list, I think you tend to start picking with your heart and start picking with your mind, right? But ultimately, I pick with my, when it comes I pick with my heart from it, day one. <laughs> the person who wins it all is the person who scores the highest. So there's so, sort of you're sort of encouraged to pick the safe picks, right? But, you know. There are games that that are have the potential to really pay out well, but might not actually ship. So it's I don't know. I think it'll be fun. We should probably get started. Yeah, we should we should get started. Uh, I I do also want to quickly mention that there are going to be stakes, and uh, what we've decided, and we we haven't kind of finalized everything yet. We've decided at the very at the, the bare minimum right now for us here who are actually playing and participating. We're doing basically a fifty dollar pot. So each one of us is putting fifty bucks in. So at the end of the year, the winner gets three hundred dollars. Uh, oh, and we've man. also, and we've also kind of, uh, I, this is kind of what we're, we're thinking here, but the person who comes in last place has to stream the lowest scoring game on their lineup 
on twitch.tv slash four player podcast. That's that's kind of what we're thinking here. So there's you know something for the winner, something for at. the loser. Um, we, and, we planted the seed there. It might yeah, it might evolve. Some stuff might evolve, but I know we've all kind of agreed on the fifty dollar buy in thing here. So at the very you know we'll have the three hundred. The winner will get three hundred dollars at the end of the year. So that that'll be fun. But there will also be some streaming stuff in there as well. So just keep that in mind. And like I, and like Brad mentioned earlier, we'll do a check in at the end of the month on the podcast uh, every month, and we'll kind of see where everyone stands. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna turn. Normally, our 2023 preview show is very much like a one and done and it's over kind of thing. And this is going to, is a fun way to keep this kind of, a, to gamify this throughout the entire year. I'm pretty yeah. excited about it. So, without further ado, I, are y'all ready? I, we've, I've never done Nolan this. Nolan get a pick. So, so I, I do want to preface this by saying, especially since this is the first time we're doing this, first time I'm actually using this website because I'm the one controlling this right now uh, on the stream if you're watching us live on Twitch. Um, you may there may be some stumbling a little bit at first trying to figure out the the, the UI so bear yeah. with me um, but if y'all are ready I'm gonna hit the start drafting button and we're gonna see how this shit works oh shit do you all sure right. you don't want to re-roll the order this. real quick all right it says mm-hmm. it says warning once you start drafting you can no longer add or remove players we're locked in um, all right scroll up a little bit Nick we can't okay well yeah. that's I can't really hear so I clicked okay we're good all right, the draft is currently in progress. Next to draft is Middle Out Entertainment. To select the next player's game for them, select next uh, select next game under draft management in the sidebar. So let me find where that is. Uh, oh my god. Draft game for next player. I'm clicking it. All right. Okay, so I can realize we, Okay. Oh, this is this okay. is a good position. We can see. Okay. Okay. So, Middle Out Entertainment, Nolan What's your first pick going to be? Come on. So, pick with your heart, Nolan. Pick with your heart. At least on your first pick. I was going to go with the obvious choice, but in reality, I'm going with The Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, you motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would I fucking not? Uh, um, soulless pick. Soulless pick. You don't <laughs> like Zelda. You did it for the points. Oh, God. Hype factor is 97.6 on this oh. thing. Uh, it's ca- and, 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 and That's keep an mind. easy 35 points okay. for him. Okay. Keep it. Why would I not? Keep in mind, keep in mind. That, I'm, I'm being a- said, that being said, I now have potentially the highest scoring game of the year, but I now have to let 11 other games get yeah. picked before I get another That's choice. True. That's true. It's, true. it's, that, true. it's the trade-off. It's the trade-off. We knew this was going to happen. So, uh, I'm going to tr- So, I'm going to try and read some of this information because keep in mind, this is also serving as our preview show. So, if you want to talk up a game for a second by all means, I'm also going to try and mention release dates and stuff as they come. This information is all presented re- very nicely and neatly here. So, uh, as a reminder, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming out May 12th has a hype factor of 97.6. Damn. All right, Nolan. It, can, can we, can we, I, I feel like, you know, we need to see betting pools in chat too, right? I mean, they should be betting on who they think is going to take it all based on our list, right? Well, we all, I mean, that uh, seems obvious. Well, yeah, 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 for sure. All right, there we go. We might We've, do something with the supporters later. Ooh, my God. Okay. So I guess I'm next. Oh God, this is terrifying vote okay. with your heart vote with your heart nick so i actually my, my brain is going in several different directions um because i have like a li- I, I ranked my list based on like risk factors here and i have where's your wiener going my wiener oh god oh my god um, i feel like the next pick is pretty obvious yeah i have three very obvious my brain's going in three very obvious directions and i think there's only one right choice, Nick, and I'm gonna be. Yeah, there's only one right two. choice for number two. Well, now you're like okay. the next safest. Okay. Is it Final Fantasy? Six. I don't know. It's your choice. I, I think. I think. I, I think I'm gonna go with Final. It's 94.2 okay. high factor. Go with that. Okay. Go with that. June. Right. But it's also risky because Final Fantasy Rebirth. Seven Rebirth. Because Final Fantasy 15 was also kind of a wet fart. But how did it review? Um, I'm looking it up, Nick. It, it did okay. That. Y- Nick, it's a safe pick. Is it the I'm right not, pick? I don't I'm trust Brad. I don't trust Brad That's as far as I can throw. He's an adult. He can Nick, choose no, his games. We can, we, Nick, you should not be doing what? research for Nick, Nolan. No, he's already picked it. Oh, I thought he already picked no, it. No, I haven't. Also, oh. uh, I I would appreciate it if, if you could look it up for me because I don't want to touch... The, I don't want to click out of any of this shit because I don't want to ruin the stream. No, I'll, I'll, as, soon, as soon as you click select, I'll tell you what 15 got. Ah, oh, you bitch. Okay, fine. <laughs> Final You're Fantasy. Good. I mean, that, if that was what's on your mind, follow your heart. You know. All right. If, if you would have chosen the 15 in this scenario, you would have gotten 21 points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Mean, that's, 
Or 11 Wait, hold on, hold on. Ten, 11 points. Thank you, thank you. It was 81, 81. Yeah. So it's, you would have gotten yeah, 11 points. For okay, but, points but also, don't forget. Don't yeah. forget. This two is points over. This now. is the. This is a. This is this Final Fantasy is being directed by one of the main leads on Final Fantasy 14, which has, which you know, everybody says has one of the best stories in yeah. in, in the yeah, whole series. Wrong. Everyone's gonna wrong. realize how much of a sham that guy really is. Good God damn me. it! All right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, Chris Davis, you're next. What uh, what game are you going? No, with? I'm not. No, next. it's not. It's me. Yeah. It's oh, about? sorry. It's, it's oh, me. I read. I read Chris Davis was right as your publisher name. <laughs> God damn it, Carlos. Uh, before I make my pick, there's something that I wanna I wanna bring up. Is there anyone here who is champion enough to put Refactor in the roster? <laughs> <laughs> It, it is, is in the database. Is it in the is it in the database? Refactor. It's in the database. It is. Hey, hey, Carlos. No, let's, don't do let's it. Let's do an alliance. Let's do an alliance. What do you want? Oh, I you do all mean. meme picks and send me your list of actual like good choices. You can't. You do think that I'm? Shit. You think I'm stupid, dude? I cannot <laughs> pass yeah. up this opportunity you, that Nick has so graciously given me. No, you Put should do down. Wait, 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 refactor maybe. that's on that Still list. That might be the other refactor. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. I, okay. Here, here's the thing. I Silk Song was one of the directions I was thinking about, right? Uh, but then wait, I wait, thought to myself, Did he lock in his pick? He hasn't yet. He said Silk Song. Do, are you Are you going with Silk Song? One hundred percent. All right, Carlos is going with Silk Song. The only reason I oh, didn't shit. pick Nick Silk Song. No, I don't know if that game's coming out this year. That's my. That's. I don't believe it's real yet. Let let Carlos live the dream. Okay. okay here's, the, here's the thing, Nick. Here's the thing, conference, Nick. and they said every game that you saw here. I know. Today wait, 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 wait. wait Carlos. Wait. Listen, you motherfuckers. I I love conversation, but I feel like the conversation should be about the game and how we're excited. Y'all are both spoiling counter pick opportunities. If you have information that Nick doesn't know, use that against him, and vice versa. If Nick thinks the game might not come out, let him counter or, you know, let All right, him. That's fair. That's fair. You know, that's let fair. him do a counter pick. You see what All I'm right, saying? Is there, is there like, anything you. Okay. Let's talk about the. You're right. Let's talk about the game. Silk Song. Hollow Knight Silk Song yeah. is coming easy to Game Pass. 93 on yeah. Metacritic, right? Easy. It's an easy. Uh, you know, you're going to get lots points. of points for that one. That game Assuming will be, the game comes for out. For sure. Yeah, but that yeah. game will be perfect yeah. if it comes out. <laughs> All right. So. You played it like four years ago at a. At a guys, at a OG Max. game got 90. <laughs> I just want to say that so, um, I am undoubtedly going to make that mistake every round where I read what? Carlos's publisher name and think it's Chris Davis's turn. And I <laughs> I feel like he did that intentionally. All right, so it is actually Chris Davis's turn. What is your first pick, Chris Davis? Uh, in the first round of the 2023 Fantasy Critic four-player draft, uh, Extensive Enterprises would like to draft Capcom's Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, that was the other one. That was the other one. I was thinking about. Wow, what do I do? Yeah. You're taking all the good ones. All right, Resident Evil 4 Remake is coming out March 24th, 2023. Uh, I think y'all just named the four highest rated games. Fuck. It's Probably. impossible. I got one. I got one. I got all right, one. well, Brad, it is your turn. So uh, I was torn between two. I won't say what the other one is. Yeah, don't so, say it yet because it could um, still be up for grabs. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. I'm curious to see if this one's going to pop up. Okay. And I'm pretty confident it's going to release. Wait, you mean year. pop up in the database at all? Or yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I want Baldur's Gate. Oh, it's 3. in there. Ooh, it's definitely yeah. in there. You that, was, uh, that was my Gate other choice. Yeah. Baldur's Gate. No, it's, it's here's the here's the thing. access. We have a filter. What does but it say? It it says it has a score right now. But okay, what well, that doesn't matter. That's from like one chapter of the game. Right, right, right. Yeah, obviously we're going to be looking at and we're going to be looking at scores after it's hit 1.0. So, and that's coming at to 1.0 apparently August 2023. We don't have an actual yeah. final date on it. So, that's your final choice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want it. All right. Baldur's Gate 3. It's Brad's first choice. Okay, it says warning. This game already has a score. Do you want to override these warnings? What is that score, by the way? Someone look I, up the score. Yeah, somebody look I'm up the 70. Wait. I looked and it's 70. The game is not out. <laughs> I mean, the game is not All right. going to finish. Correct. Well, it is exactly zero points at the okay. moment. Okay. So, Brad's going with Baldur's Gate 3. All right, Crispy, what's your uh, what's your first pick for the night? Oh, fuck. 
the the moment of truth has come. Wish I was the moment of truth. Uh, <laughs> Jesus fucking fuckers! I know. I yeah, I knew, we all knew this was gonna happen. Those, that's we're gonna the ones that were gonna go first. Uh, uh, I like how Crispy admitted score. that he spent I the score. most. Uh, what? Crispy admitted to like he's like I spent all day watching game show. Like I feel like you should have had this ready to go. No, I I that was a bit. I was I was. Oh, joking. you were joking. <laughs> I watched Mr. Bean all day for some reason. Uh, <laughs> good, good show. Um, okay, 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 okay. I am legitimately excited about a game that I'm looking at, but I think there's a higher potential for a different game to score higher. But it's got a really, um, uh, it's got a really dynamic, uh, opinionated community that I don't understand that well. So it's dangerous, but. Ooh. Uh, fucking fortune favors the bold, I guess, for Silverharp Interactive's first pick of 2023, Street Fighter VI. Oh, damn it! Not oh, bad. That's a good Not pick. Yeah, that is a, the hype for that is through the roof. So that is a very inspired damn. pick. It's got a. I, it, it, it could so easily come out, and people are like, "What the fuck?" Like, no, but all that matters no, is how the critics receive that it. game. I'll tell you this: it's going to score really fucking well because the fighting game community is unified they're super hyped they've been playing the betas and most importantly when you're thinking of mainstream reviews they're adding like a ton of cool single player content where you're like running around the world and getting in fights and stuff i think it's going to score really highly i think it's a great pick all right so recap we got but or i you know we don't need it we'll do a recap at the very end so uh crispy gets to go again. crispy gets to go again because um, it's a snake draft Get two so picks. Other, yeah. Mm. Oof. Mm. Oof. There's a couple up here that are like yeah. tempting, but that, that like that quarter 2023 estimated is really scary. Um yeah. I there is one up here that I think will do reasonably well, despite controversy surrounding uh, the no! I think do well. Don't take and mine. As a confirmed date. Of June sixth. That's right. Oh my god. Diablo four. Oh. 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 oh Diablo Sorry. four. That's gonna yeah, score dude. well. That's, yeah. that's a good one. Hey, we're gonna be okay, playing that okay. or what? All right, hold on. Here we go. Diablo you know four what? comes out June sixth. You know what? All right. There we go. It's Street it's Fighter six and me. Diablo four. Back. Uh, it's back, back to me. Brad. All I right. feel like I gotta make a play here. I feel like I gotta make a play. For a potential, potentially high-scoring game that could actually end up fucking me over, but I want to make the spicy play. And yeah, I know y'all know what it is. We went through the whole first round with nobody picking the elephant in the room. Oh, I, 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 I think I know what it is. Can I, you want me to guess? No, estimated. don't guess. It's like yeah, half, if, you don't, if you don't take first it, I'm gonna half take it. Half of 2023 estimated. Uh, next month. No, I know what it is. Estimated. I'm pretty sure I know I'm what going it is. With, I'm going with Starfield. I fucking knew it. Oh, oh damn it! That was my next pick. That like, could no be like a 77 for all I fucking know. It, it but it has the potential. It has the potential. If if I mean, that, what, if, what that score? Score, if that game doesn't score 95 points, like it's gonna score 30. Like it's either yeah, like up it's, here it's or down here. Fall. You know? There's it's, no in between. I, honestly, I think that's the first risky pick of the night. To be completely honest, Skyrim, ah, and that and that's 76. also your that's also your first uh, new game franchise pick. It automatically sorted that into your. Oh, okay. you can see okay. it here. So that's nice. Um, everything else tonight has been also, a sequel of some sort. Also, I I feel like more than any other game that's been chosen so far. I mean, besides Silk Song, Silk Song's weird, but I think it's the time is right. I think Starfield could get pushed out of the fucking year. For sure. Really, that shit's going bad. That shit's scheduled yeah, I think for early pushed. though, isn't it? I think it, it got, get already got it delayed does, once. It already yeah, got delayed matter. once. It, it's big enough. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm it, saying. It, like Cyberpunk got delayed like five times. Yeah, it's important enough to where it could get pushed out of the whole fucking year. It has to land. All right. Uh, so I believe Chris Davis is up next. What's your second pick? 
So that that did throw a little bit of a wrench in my plans. Uh, uh, that, that, that was always going to happen. Starfield for your second round pick. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, no, that was that was going to mean. I, I I honestly thought that like there would be such <clears throat> apprehension about Bethesda after yeah. Fallout Four that maybe people might hold off just a little bit. It's risky. It's risky. But but yeah. you know, you, you want to know my reasoning? I can tell you all my reasoning right now that it's that's what it's off what, the board. Okay. Yeah. Cyberpunk is one of like the the biggest like fuck ups in the history of games, right? Like in yeah. terms of hype factor, expectations from the developer um, to what the game actually was on launch. Yeah. That game was still scoring pretty well. Like that game it, scored way higher than it deserved. Honestly, sure. I mean there are so, a few games on here that might not be great but have crazy amounts of momentum that are just going to yeah. make people give it like eighties and nineties. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. yep. All right, Chris okay. Davis. All right. For my second pick, for Extensive Enterprise's second pick, I am going to go with a new game franchise. Okay. Mm. Uh, I am going with Sea of Stars. Sea of oh. Stars? Ooh. Interesting. The prequel to The Messenger, pick. my favorite game from 2019. Oh. It's a good uh, pick. Yeah, it looks like a, second a Chrono Trigger ass pick. Wow. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Hey, it, it was on my short list. I was yeah, so if fall, he didn't grab it now, I would have grabbed it. You know, down the line. Now I actually had my as someone who didn't even play the Messenger. I saw this and was like, oh, this is that really nice looking uh, RPG from the guys that did the Messenger. I'm like, I'm, I'm I, get I might play this. I, get, I get a little nervous about indie RPGs though, JRPGs. But we'll, but I think it looks good. I but this is good. this is the kind of this is the this is why this is such an exciting format because it's like I didn't never I never saw that coming. I was like sitting on the I was on the edge of my seat waiting for Chris Davis to there's say that, and it was a nice surprise. Still, there's some big boys that's still out there, so I'm well, surprised you went with it now. All right, all right. Chris Davis uh, voting with his heart. Uh, all right, Carlos, what's your second pick? It, it, wait, can I say yeah. if if we get to if we get halfway through the year and like Carlos is like doing really well and Chris Davis is really struggling, I feel like Chris Davis should have to change his publisher name to Chris Davis was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. All right. <laughs> All right, Carlos, well, here's the second choice. The holiday is going right. to come out. I'm going to play it safe while there are safe choices to play. Not very spicy. Spider-Man 2. Mm. Ah, okay. 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 Good play. Good play. Although, that, that, I could see that getting put. It says fall 2023. Myself. It doesn't say winter. It says fall, but it's probably more okay. likely like a November release. But yeah. I mean, Spider -Man given 2. how like, easy it is to make those games since it's always in the same boring city, I think it'll come out. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So you got Silk Song and Spider Man Two, and I am next. Ooh, I think Carlos is playing to win. I think yeah, Carlos I think might be is. playing to win too. He was joking about picking routine and shit. I don't know if that's gonna happen. All right, my next game I'm gonna pick, and I'm. <laughs> this is gonna be. I think this is. Um, this is both. <laughs> this is gonna be a spicy choice, probably for. It's, it's too risky. Nick. It's it's gonna be risky for a number of reasons. You uh, know what one, it is. One one. This could be this could easily just be flat out be uh, uh, a bad game. I don't know. A bad, uh, two, a bad game. two. What are you uh, thinking? Oh God! This I'm round gonna, two. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. Just, I'm just gonna do it so we can get it out of the way. Okay, but say it because I'm not looking at the stream. Uh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts Legacy. Whoa! <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, one, it's it's a risk. It's a risky bet because obviously it's a developer that's not proven. Uh, yeah. And two, obviously there's a lot of controversy going into it. And uh, honestly, I'm not sh I'm not a hundred percent sure if that if the controversy is going to have an impact on reviews. You know what I mean? Dude, I think it would be foolish to assume they won't. Yeah, uh, you're right. I, like but, I do not see. I do not see publications like. Kotaku and Polygon talking so openly about like how problematic JK Rowling is. I think and yeah. how like how like financial support of this game is like kind of a political hot button issue, and then turn around and say like it's a ninety nine. Like no, see, I, I disagree. I feel like those sites are going to choose not to review it at all, and that's fine. I, I I mean I support that decision, but I feel like I think that's probably the better choice for like, them. Give no coverage to, to the game. Critic? What is that? It just I, makes, I it, it just means it doesn't factor in. It's not on there. So, I will say this: This is one of the most hyped games of the year, maybe even the most hyped of the game, believe it or not. And there, this talk of this game is like 
is in circles that don't talk about games. And that's usually a sign that something is going to be fucking ridiculous. And I'm seeing people buying PlayStation fives to play this game. And I you mean, know, it's, and, and we've had this conversation before. I mean, you know, I don't really want to get into it right now, but it, it is as far as, as a video game, it is my most anticipated video game, which sucks for obvious reasons. Um, yeah. but it also seems like, it like it, on one hand, on one hand, it could be a safe choice. On the other hand, it could be a real fucking risk. But I, at this point, I want to get it off the table so we can just move on. <laughs> so <laughs> let, let's. I mean, we weren't gonna pick it, so you probably could. I know, I know, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'm getting it off the board. Uh, Nolan, what is your second choice? Oh, Actually, your second and third choice. And third. I think it's two picks. <laughs> All right. Uh, for for my second Wait, pick. Going- Going first is best. For my second pick, uh, I'm going to go with a new game franchise. Okay, but from a fairly established uh, developer oh, uh, that has fire. put out their past few games have have reviewed pretty well. I know exactly um, what he's oh. talking about. And I think the game, oh, what we've seen of this game so far, it looks pretty good. Oh my god! Um, so my second choice is going to be. Will Long Fallen Dynasty. Oh, uh, God, that's damn not it. what I was expecting. Okay. I, I, no, I, I think this game is going to review high. I think yeah, it's going to both scored he, really high. He scored fucking high. Um, I think so, it's a really, so that's I'm, a really good choice. Also, we've played a demo for this. Playing to win. We've played it a demo bomb. for this, and it's fucking great it's hard as balls it also i've bomb. heard i've heard i that since that last uh last last demo they put out they've tweaked it to the point where like they've toned down because a lot of people were saying this game is probably maybe too difficult they've apparently toned down the difficulty to the point where it's like still really challenging but like no not, not the difficulty they, they, they widen the sorry Nick. yeah they widen the you know. window they, they yeah, widen yeah, the yeah. parry window which was the biggest complaint about that first beta um but we'll see We'll see. I'm yeah. excited. And we know it comes out soon. And again, I know he did research because Neo wanted this was on much realist. Neo one and two scored surprisingly well. And yep. yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident that it's a safe slash good pick. So Alright. Woe long so, fallen dynasty. You are pick it with your heart, damn it. I I do wanna I do wanna just a real quick aside. I'm not entirely sure how they how they figure out the the, the new gaming franchise thing, but like Maybe this is ignorant of me to say this, but is Hogwarts Legacy not like a new gaming frame? I mean, I know it's Harry Potter, but like it's not a sequel, and I, it's not like I would technically consider it a new game franchise. Nick, I wouldn't worry about it, anyways. You're gonna populate your yeah, no, I, I know, it's fun. I know. It's yeah, like you'll Lego it. Star when Wars to the indie the games, people... as Jedi Knight. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Noel, what's your third pick? Oh, I get Fuck. another one. Oh, yeah, you, wow. You get, you get another all one. All right. Oh, it feels um, gross. It feels gross all, all right. of a sudden. So, so I'm going to skip over um, a few games that I think people would think I'd choose next. Hmm. Um, I'm going to pick this one because I have faith that I think it's going to do well. Um, oh it is not a new game franchise. Um, it's fairly established. Um, <sighs> and I, I think this my game... Games alone. Leave my game as long. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but I know what it is. It's a game I'm going to play. I promise you, you I will not change my play. choice. I promise you, I will not change no, I'm it. I'm not going to say it. But okay. I, all right, go. Just say it. Like a dragon Ishin. Okay. I think right. it's going to go. I think it's going to review well. Is, the, Brad, the, is that what you were thinking current? he was going to go with? I don't think it is. <laughs> I can't say because I'm still making picks. Well, Brad wants this. He wants whatever he was going to say for himself. Um, I think this game is going to review well. Um, the past few Yakuza games have all reviewed pretty well, yeah. too. Yeah. I um, mean, it, it is trending like Monster Hunter, this franchise. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Damn. It's back to me now. Fuck. Um, this is now we're starting to get into like difficult territory here no we're not uh, there's still uh, I mean, plenty of heavy hitters i know i mean I'm there's a like... game uh, I'm, i can't say it but like who are you fooling i think i know what i think i know what you're thinking of, i'm saying I think you I'm... I'm saying you could probably vote with your brain and your heart still at the same time i know potentially yeah are you thinking of suicide squad kill the justice league i I'm, i can't 
tell y'all what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Don't do that to I'm, Crispy. Don't do that to Crispy. I mean, what? Oh, God. He picked Street Fighter. He's in it to win it, okay? He's not in it for his art. <laughs> Crispy will never think forgive you. <laughs> but I'm also... Oh, my God. Suicide Squad. Do I want to go with Suicide Squad? The, the, like, it's fucking rock steady, but at the same time, it's just like, is this one of these weird experimental things that they're going to try and just miss the mark on? You know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's not the next Arkham game. It is something totally do, totally. Let me new. tell you something. As a DC fan, I think it looks kind of lame. You do, oh, <laughs> maybe I should rethink my choice here. I I, I, I was just messing with your head though. Just trying to get in Crystal your mind. Crystal Dynamics shipped that Avengers game. Wait a second. Ooh. You're right. Who the fuck am I kidding? I don't know if I should be listening to Crispy right now. He could just be trying to fucking fool me so he can himself. <laughs> But here's the here's the thing, Nick. Even if it's a if it's a good pick and he's trying to talk you out of it, there's still other three other people there's he has so to get through picks. before yeah. he gets to pick again. You know, so even if you don't get it, one of us could get it. It's fucking rock steady, man. I'm uh. not going to try to talk you into it or out of it, though. That's the thing. I mean, you're right, though. There's some risk there because you know it's been a long time. Avengers games as a service is. I have heard the word games as a service mentioned in the same breath as Suicide, suicide Squad. Squad. So. Oh my god, do but I want to do this? Rocksteady, man. Have you ever man. played um, Urban Chaos Riot Response? <laughs> no, Brad, I've actually never rare. played Urban Chaos. Um, you ever played a bad Rocksteady <laughs> game? Um, no, I mean, but I've only ever played the Arkham people games. People were pretty soft on Arkham 9, I mean. I see you, Crispy, in chat telling me not to pick it. <laughs> uh <laughs> King Carey says that this would pick, be suicide. Honestly. This pick would be suicide. <laughs> oh fuck! You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I could be crazy. I'm doing it. Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. Wow! All right. All right. All right. Suicide Squad. Wow. Arkham City is what a ninety-six on Metacritic. I hope you fucking choke on it, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Nick. It was a great pick, you puss. No, nah, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, <laughs> next. So next would be Carlos. Oh, I'm so far away. <laughs> okay. Um... The longer this goes, the more interesting each choice is going to be, though. Oh, God. oh, man. I feel like we do need to hurry a little bit. Shit. Okay. I remember, uh, I should have heard that. Give me. This We're good. We're moving. Jedi Survivor. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> man, he <laughs> planned to win too. What a bitch! I, I thought that I was not going to vote with your hearts. None of y'all. Why is everyone playing to win three hundred dollars? <laughs> oh, that's true. See, y'all had to make it about money and look uh, at these people. Also, with their safe ass picks, these games they're never going to play. Also, what? first, I, 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 I want to mention that game, dude. I hated the first one. Second one, probably going to suck right. dick, but high scores. <laughs> Uh, it updates. It automatically updates the standings based on projected points, which it calculates for you. And Carlos is currently in first place based on projected points. But that mm. that doesn't. Mm. I'm just, Th- those projected points are. Ju- ju- I know. It's just. Yeah. It's, it's. You know. Whatever. Okay. Something interesting uh, to bring up. Chris Davis, what's your next pick? <laughs> okay, so I am split fifty fifty on this. I'm split between a game that is basically confirmed for this year. And a game that has been formally announced but is expected this year. That has not been formed. Are we allowed? Hasn't are we been allowing announced? That? It hasn't uh, been announced. Uh, 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 this guy. Correct. Uh, you went from is... an indie game in round two to a game that hasn't been announced in round three. Are we even allowing uh, I'm, that? I'm, we I'm didn't really it. have that conversation. No, no, you can. You can. You can add whatever you want. Okay, Chris Davis. It might be a little early to be going no, towards I unannounced. Hear this fucking okay. game. Using I, 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 I knew Chris I wanna, Davis was going to be the crazy man. I want. I want to take a little risk here. Okay. We'll, we'll see. If, see if it pays off. Oh, this uh, extensive Enterprises for the third pick of 2023 is going to go for Mortal Kombat 12. What is what? that on the list? Oh, is wow, that a dude. thing? Do you think what they're going to announce and about? release Mortal Kombat 12 in the next year? Uh, Ed, okay. Ed Boon has released his games in less than 12 months. Okay. <laughs> has or has done. Been, has and does. You don't have does. to fight for something like crazy, though, Chris Day. And, and, okay, he has already been teasing us getting an announcement really soon. He stole my pick, guys. I was going to pick I, I'm, I'm going to take a risk. God bless this man. God bless this man. <laughs> You're local, man. You're local. 
All right, Chris, Chris David, this is your last chance to Chris, back out before I click it. No, 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 it's locked in. You oh don't say something God. like that and take it back. Mortal oh Kombat 12 God. is my choice. Like, oh my. like Warner Brothers is in the news, like, canceling projects throughout their entire company Stop left it. and Stop right. It. And this it. guy is like, they haven't even announced this game and it's going to come out in the next 12 months. How do you know it's you not want to take a risk countering me? You want to try? I will uh, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's yes, a bad, yes. look. Look, look. Shut the fuck up, Brad. I'm not look, playing your mind games. Look. It's a bad third round pick. We can all agree on that. But No, it's not. It's not. I'm, I'm not going to counter a Mortal yeah. Kombat game because he's, no, he's not wrong. is a game the chance- that makes is, – NetherRealm makes good games. Oh, my God. Imagine – they do announce it. It does come out. Booster Gold is one of the guest characters. I'm going to share what I did for a reason. Keep it up. Oh shit! I'm crying. All right, Brad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before, before we before we let Brad okay, pick his next game, turn. wait, wait. Before Brad moves on, can, can I just really quickly because I think we we move really fast past Jedi Survivor. What is what is what do y'all think? Is that guy, you think that game is going to be good? I yeah. think yeah. I think I think I, do. I think honestly I think it's I keep thinking of Titanfall two, and yeah. I feel like respawn's mm, second point. try with this is going to be. The game that the first game we wanted from the first game. Be I don't think it's going to be Titanfall two levels of cool, but I think I think Respawn is pretty good at following up their games. And also, also it, video it, games. Like the first game was not amazing, but it was yeah. a lot more solid than you guys. Yeah, give yeah. It no, no. I, mean, I like the first a game. Safe pick. There's no I like, way this thing. I like the. Be I like the first game a lot. I'm just asking because, uh, I don't know. The thing the about car- Fallen the- Order is that it was a game that was pushed out by EA at the last minute when it should not have gone out. You know, you know what makes That's me hesitant why it got though? Low scores and had a lot of technical issues. You know why I like that game? I probably like gameplay wise. I probably would have that should have been a shoe in for me. I lo- I really enjoyed the game, but like man, it it spent. I played that game for like twenty hours. It did not sell me on its characters, and that's I don't know. I don't know. I hate you. It's in my <laughs> roster. I will not be playing it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, like, let's be honest, Carlos. You, the only game on your you roster you're actually going to play is Silk Song. Calculated motherfucker. You fucking psychopath. Well, psychopath. if you lose, Chris Davis, and, it, and this happens to be your lowest Shut up. scoring you chose game, Street you're going to as your first pick, Crispy. Your Dude. first pick you went with Street Oh, Street. yeah. That was crazy of me to do. You're right. <laughs> All right, Brad, what is your next pick? What did I, what did I pick? Um,. My pick. What, by the way, what was my first pick? Oh my god, you're gonna make me okay, Brad. You are currently sitting at Baldur's Gate three and Starfield. Okay, 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 okay. Number three, I'm gonna go with something a little safer, a little soon. Okay, but I, I, I'm pretty confident in this that this game is gonna score well enough to be a safe. Are we? Are we in the realm of? Are the heavy hitters gone? Shut up, Pick. Brad. Just say the fucking game. Hey, hey, <laughs> easy guys. Jesus, I'm gonna go with. There's no like Forza Motorsport game this year, right? I'm on the edge of my. There's Forza. Mo- there's no Forza, Forza Horizon, right? Those things always. Not that I know crazy. of. No, no, no. Just oh, don't take. Don't don't take my Dune Spice World, Brad. <laughs> I, think I swear, if you if you if you like pick that. House Flipper too, Brad, I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. People like it. Um. Okay. Okay. Four spoke. No, dig, I'm just kidding. Digging into um, these fucking indies is where I'm, I'm waiting. I, I can't wait till someone's brave enough to pick Four Spoken. I want to buy that man a drink. Um. Bra- I feel like Brad is say, writing it down right now. I feel like Brad is trying to like subtly like like persuade me or or, or like he's. <laughs> I mean, He's you are the to... one person who's going to play that train wreck. Hey, I'm going to go with uh, Fire Emblem Engage. It's safe. Fire it comes out soon. We know it's going to ship. We know it's going to score fine, probably. So, um, All right. you know, the series has been on uptick. It's been scoring well. And it's a game I'm going to play. I'm picking with my heart over here, guys. Fire my Emblem Engage box. comes out Whatever. January 20th. You know what? You know, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Fire Emblem Engage. Good pick. Good pick. Uh, no. Uh, all right. Crispy. Crispy gets to pick two more games. Some real bullshit going on over here. Uh, let's see. Did somebody pick? They did. What an idiot. Um, Starfield? 
<laughs> Suicide Squad? No. No. Uh, Don't take right. the pig world well, I get, adventures. I get two picks, me. right? Next two picks? Yep. Yes. Two picks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Uh, this is yeah, this is wild, but I think I think despite whatever our opinions of this game are, it's probably going to do pretty well in the ratings anyway. Octopath Traveler two. Ah, oh, okay. Calculating, motherfucker. And all right, hold on, hold on. Octopath Traveler two coming out February twenty fourth. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I really want oh. that game to do well because that first fuck game. You. Okay. <laughs> I want Triangle Strategy to do well. I wanted to deliver on the on the on like the the, the potential that the first game seemed to have. That's that's what you I, that's all I want to say. You're playing a game that's delivering on that potential. Octopath Traveler did not. Fuck that game. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair but enough. people like, will still people rate it highly though. Like it. People are still gonna yeah, enjoy people it. will still rate it highly. Um. Yikes! Yikes! This is weird. Yeah. Ooh, this is weird. <laughs> Ooh, we're in a weird spot now. Um, That's where it's starting to get this good. Is, this is safe. I mean, we're still in estimated territory, but I feel like it's a safe pick. I see it on here. It's tagged as a new game. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Forza Motorsports Xbox Series yes. X. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's Dude, that, I mean, that is going to score well no matter what. Wait, 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 people are going to play it. They're going to like it. Wait, wait, wait. What is and... that game? It just says Forza Motorsport. Yeah, it's whatever the it's, it's, whatever it's the Gran Turismo like. like I oh no, I know what Forza like, Motorsport like is. It's picking Brad. this year's Call of Duty. I'm at the end of the fucking pick order. All right, I'm picking between fives and six choices. Like I no, gotta no, no, no. be, I gotta fucking do my thing, man. I gotta fucking make moves. All right. No, no, no. So, I get it. I get it. But like, it it, it doesn't say I'm, it's an unannounced game. It's but it doesn't. It, it also it doesn't have holder. Yeah, it's a placeholder for the Forza game that's going to come out. Yeah, here's because, the thing. Here's the okay, thing. Okay. Okay. I don't want to give away my strategies, but I'm going to say it here because it was cold and calculated, and I want y'all to know what kind of psychopath we're dealing with here. <laughs> the people who review those games are the people who play those games. Yeah. And like it's cold, game. and it's it's disgusting. And I can't believe I have to pick next to crispy. Wow, All right. Look at that. Super Interactive is going to be having a great year this year. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. it's looking like it. All right, Brad, oh, okay. what's what's your next pick? What do we? Oh. God, what do we even have left? Brad, what, there's, there's so many games pick? left. You just start. Know, you you have to start getting more creative now. I mean, you don't have that's to. There's true, still there's true. still some there's still some big big games that haven't been picked yet. Oh yeah. Oh there's, there's man. In fact, there's one I'm like hoping doesn't get picked in the next two choices. I know, I know. It's a fucking Nick game. No, I didn't say that. I mean, it okay, is kind okay. of. I mean, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> so Fuck. Nick, Nick, while, while while he's thinking, just FYI, uh-huh. Forza Motorsport 7, 85. Motorsport 6, 88. Motorsport 5, 80. Ooh. Like, they are all like oh, solid. And five, 5 is the one that was plagued with like microtransactions, and that's yes. why... People and shit still, on that one. It's they shit on it by giving it an eighty. <laughs> Cold and calculated. You know why, Nick? Because you don't review Forza games. Nope. I'm not. I know. I'm not doubting anybody saying that's going to review well. I'm just sitting here going, "Is it even a?" It doesn't say unannounced, but it is a placeholder. It's weird. Like they haven't formally announced this, have they? But they're not um, treating it like an unannounced game. People are talking it? about it. I mean, we all know it's going to happen. <laughs> So. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, Ichi's kid in chat says it's announced, so apparently I just missed it. Oh, there's an official Honest... gameplay demo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then Honestly, never mind. Truth is, I have some games on here that I think are pretty decent safe picks. You know, we're kind of getting into indie territory, but I think I'm going to be able to like safely bring them up later, so I'm going to go with the one that, again, I think like Starfield has a bit of a risk factor to it, but Don't do this to me, Brad. I'll say I'm gonna go with the Dead Space remake. Oh fuck! Wow. That, damn it! Okay. I was I was. Uh, why can't I type? Apparently, Dead Space. Okay. I don't actually have a ton of confidence in this because I think that developer is not really like, you know, some you know they're no Blue Point or anything. But yeah, but they but they haven't gotten like a real chance to do something. 
big in a very, very long time. I don't think this game is going to score off the charts, but I think that it's going to have to be a pretty big mess for it to score poorly. What? Did, what? How did the Callisto Protocol do? I know we got seventies. They that are would, prettying up a game. So that it'll be higher exists, than that, at so. least. Just of course, some, of course. Yeah. Just some brand recognition. Yeah. yeah. You will Damn get it. unless it's some sort of like technical Callisto disaster. Callisto Protocol got sixty-eight. Oh, 68 wow. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it. Uh, yeah, they're prettying up a game that already exists, and there's even though that game didn't like score off the charts necessarily, it is still a game that people have a lot of love for. So it's not going to be no Resident Evil Four remake, but you know. What are we? That even was, if that was Isaac my is pick. ugly as sin, the game's going to do well. All right. Uh, so next up is we're back to Chris Davis. What's your next wild oh. out of this? <laughs> you want me to do it? A, a wild, crazy one? Or no, you do. Say, do it. You do whatever the fuck you want, Chris Davis. But that was uh, you made some bold choices so far. I feel like and I, I, I respect the hell out of spicy. it. Although Chris Davis started with spice, but you know. Let me. Let me. Check something real quick. I'm looking up uh, their this developer's previous game. Okay, all right. Well, okay, the math is against that, but I still like that game. Uh, I am going to go with. Are you, cha- are you in your mind? Are you changing your answer now because of what you just saw, or is this what you were thinking of before? This is a game that was near the top of my list, but. In, in the context of a new franchise, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'll, I'll hold off on that for a little bit. See what okay. happens. <clears throat> I I want to go with. Come on, Chris Davis. Like a dragon, the man who erased his name. Wow. What? Wait, what? See, I, th- wow. I thought these were safe for. I thought this. I I thought I was safe to pick this one a little bit later. I Guys, thought people what the fuck about is that? I mean, this is yeah, the new uh, Yakuza fan uh, Cos- mm-hmm. Cosmo game. Mm-hmm. It's the new Cosmo, uh, a game that bridges the gap between Yakuza seven and eight. I've or, never even. I heard guess of this. actually Yakuza well, six, six and, and eight, seven yeah. technically. All yeah. right, six. I okay. I never. I didn't. I knew there were. I knew there's the series has been going through a lot of stuff because they kind of rebranded and everything. And I knew there was like th- two or three games that were coming. Damn. I don't remember this having a title. All right, there you go. It's on your list. Like a dragon. <sighs> uh, it's, it's like a dragon, Gaiden, the man who erased his name. You cold, yeah. calculated fuck. All right. I so thought, <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to be this competitive, but these lists are ridiculous. Yar, yar, disgusting. <laughs> so we're doing this right, is what you're saying. Yeah. I'm picking games that I'm going to play. I don't know about you, but I showed up to fucking play. Hey, all of my picks so far, I am playing. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm. I yeah. Dude, I'll I'll fucking, I'll I'm the kind of Xbox and, and yeah, play. Oh my god! I have the best. I have the best punishment for the person in last place. Whatever the cold, calculated fuck in last place has to finish all the games that they chose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so now we're on Carlos. Okay. Okay. It's getting dirty. Mm-hmm. Hit, us with, hit us with that. Back and grab my coffee. Mm-hmm. The mover and the shaker, the Gordon Gecko of games over here. I feel like Baldur's Gate was risky because we don't really know if it's gonna hit. Yeah, and I like feel like Starfield is risky. is risky because it's Starfield. Everybody's gonna take a risk tonight, one way or the other. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I know. I just except for maybe Crispy. Crispy's. <laughs> One Chris- second. I need to look at something. Oh, before. dude. I mean, this motherfucker. Chris- Diablo Carlos, you've had 4 so really much time. could blow up in my face. Okay. That's okay. not true. People were saying nice things about that fucking mobile game. You're going to be fine. No, I, think I've made, I think I've made my choice. You, man. Shh, shh. Carlos, uh, it's so Oxen Free 2. Oh. oh that's. Wow. We're, we're already in this 2023 huh? estimated. Yeah, uh, it's called Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. I mean, this was announced like a year and a half ago, though. I feel like this is a pretty safe bet for releasing, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's a safe bet. All right, Oxen Free 2. Here Wait, we go. who chose that? Carlos. Carlos. Okay. What a fascinating choice. All right, we're back to me now. I guess he didn't check the reviews for their last game, but hey, he locked I think I know what Nick's going to pick here. All right, no. I am. I'm gonna draft my next. My next draft is a game that um, 
<laughs> this could be a gamble in the sense that uh, it's a new, it's kind of a new kind. God, why am I putting these fucking kinds of games on my list? You, you, you know me. I'm gonna go with Redfall. It's a brand new franchise that looks like an old Redfall. Oh my god, you fucking asshole! Wow, <laughs> people like our, people. We had this conversation in Discord. Chris, Chris was like. I'm going to get Redfall. And I was like, yeah, over my yeah. dead body. And then you haven't you're, picked it yet. You're fucking... Well, sorry. What, was... did you forget about it? But also, I think also... Red... I think Redfall is a no. safe pick because Arcane stuff scores well. Arcane it's stuff... It's also a Game Pass game now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But but Redfall... It, it, Arcane is amazing. I loved, I've loved everything that I've played from Arcane, whether it's Dishonored or Prey, whatever. I've loved what them all. Deathloop? And, yeah, and Deathloop. Deathloop. I love Deathloop. Although Deathloop is oh, yeah. probably my least favorite of the three, but still, I loved it. Um... <laughs> hmm. But like also, you know your, your I'm, now that I'm thinking, favorite is? now that I'm my thinking about magic. it, oh, God. now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sitting here like I just put Suicide Squad on my list, and now Redfall. Both of those are probably games as a service. Ooh, games uh, as a service, yeah. Nick. Yeah, maybe maybe you should change your publisher name to like you know, uh, Gassy. Uh, <laughs> Gassy. <laughs> Gassy. Uh, all right, so uh, Gassy no one. Passenger Entertainment. We we've made our made our way back around to Nolan again. You That's get how two you picks. know Nick is also playing to win by picking games as a service games. Yeah, I'm trying, but also I do have every intention of playing these games, whether they stick know, and work with me. I have I every know. intention. In fact, I'm the kind of person who I'm going to try and play to win, but I'm also the kind of person who will could not probably bring myself to put a game on this list that I have no interest in playing. That's just because that's hey. just kind of the problem. Kind of how I am. Anyways, um, sorry. I'll, no I'll say it. I'll say it now. Every game that I have chosen so far, I am 100% intending to play. Yes. Uh, none of them are. I'm doing it for the points. I mean, a little, but I, they are all games I am going to buy. I can't oh, wait to hear Crispy's impressions. Of my of next or pick, like, what's going on? Here? My next pick from Middle Out and Entertainment uh, has one that I have been whispering at people in chat. Uh, basically, the the office scene with the the Michael Scott giving the watch or whatever, and like yeah. Toby's, like, he's like, "I'll, I'll kill you, I'll kill you." <laughs> um, I, I literally, I've been whispering at people in chat. I've been like, "Shut the fuck." Um, my Ooh. next pick uh, is Pikmin Four. Ah, oh, okay. all right. Uh, while I game, do, so that's a safe bet. It's it's a safe bet, but it's also a game I very much intend to play. I loved the third one. Mm. Uh, it's been way too long since it came out. I am very hyped for this one. Also, uh, it's a game that we've we've kind of known excited. about for a long time, but I keep forgetting that they actually went they actually revealed it. Like I, I we've mm-hmm. known about it for so long, but I keep forgetting that the actual reveal happened. Uh, so I think it's I think it's a pretty safe bet. And obviously, Pikmin, who's, it's charming as hell. Who is who is going to be the bravest gentleman here and pick uh, Metroid Prime Four? you probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> sounds like a chris davis pick all right uh nolan what's your next game We're all right my next Fuck. one i'm so it's probably away. probably coming off of brad's it might be on a short list i don't know uh, but it's it one is. i'm definitely excited for uh, it is a new game franchise so i'm gonna another pick in the new game franchise category um it's gonna be the plucky squire it was on my list I, I that think game this looks fire though. I think this game is either going to be high 80s or like low 70s so a little, I think it could go either way now that's, that's an inspired indie, choice cool looking indie game is these days right? mm-hmm. did you like remember this game when I said the plucky squire earlier and then looked at the trailer and was like oh yeah okay Nope. So Brad actually <laughs> brought this game up to me a few weeks, like a little couple months ago, actually. He was like, oh, Nolan, I think this is a game you'd be interested in. And I looked it up because it was off that Nintendo Direct thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as soon as I saw that, I was like, dude, that's a day one buy for me. That looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks great. It looks um, great. All right. All right. Fuck. Mm. Fuck. Mm. Okay, we're on me again. Yes. All right. I got I to gotta pick something that's not a games as a service game. Um <laughs> Fuck. Vote with your heart, Nick. Nick <laughs> I'm trying. You, 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 there's an elephant in your room, and it's in no one else's room. Oh, I know At what it is. Point, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I actually, I actually thought about this a second ago. I actually thought about this a second. I'm going with Alan Wake too, right? You fucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For fucking sure. <laughs> Like they're they are talking like Remedy is not is like they're going hard on like tweeting about this game all the time now and like it sounds like they have every intention of putting this game out this year and it's Ooh. it's a, it Remedy is a sequel. To put out a I'm game. thinking it is about a, counter picks. That's what I'm thinking. About. It is a sequel to a best, game that's on my top ten games of all time, and I want to I want to give them the love. I, I'm I'm taking I'm taking a bit of a risk. That's I actually put it in my gambles column 
because I do know it's gonna be, it's a bit of a gamble. But I have I, I'm gonna make a hot dog bet right now. I think this game will be out July August. July August, really? July August. That's my that's my guess. Twenty four. <laughs> God damn it, Nolan. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do Alan Wake two. Obvious. Was, was that what you were thinking of, Brad? Was that the the game that was? I can't tell you what I'm thinking. I literally can't. Well, okay, fine, fine. Okay. Well, how long did it take for the first Alan Wake game to come out? Like, like ten, ten years. years. Ten years. <laughs> but but they've they've obviously ironed out their production. Uh, how long did it take for the to come out? Like ten years. I thought you were gonna pick that multiplayer control game. Okay. Well, here. here so. Alan Wake 2 is not only exciting because it's a sequel to Alan Wake, which is one of my favorite games of all time, but they've said it several times that they have every... This game is going survival horror, which the first game was not technically survival horror in the traditional sense. So the thought of, like, a sequel to Alan Wake as a survival horror game sounds fucking perfect. I can't... I, I can't even begin to express how excited I am for this. So, yeah. Alan Wake 2, easy choice for me. Don't let me down, Remedy. Just make sure you release it. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is release it, and we're good. Um, all right, Carlos, you're next. Um, all right, I just get one choice, right? Yep. <laughs> unless you are Brad or, or sorry, unless you are Nolan or Crispy, you only get one choice at a time. <laughs> Company of Heroes three. Company Ooh, of Heroes three. That is a risk. No, Says well, the guy who picked an unannounced like, game. It's calculated. It's it's like it's like the racing games. People who as, play as, PC strategy games are the people who review them. Yeah, but as someone who played Company of Heroes one, two, and love one and hate two, like that's that's I'll a one out because wait, like, you two is two? big. Two is the one people love. Two, I I personally think it's hot garbage, but that's just me. You're well, Chris Davis. Wait, is no, a, that's that's is that's hyperbole. Uh, but like, I just did not like that game at all. No, you're oh. right. You're right. One is the one people love, I think, with Company of yeah. Heroes. I'm thinking of Dawn of War. All right. Uh, so next we have... Which is very Company of heroes Chris Davis, what is your next inspired choice? Okay. This choice comes with a question. It's the first one when it comes to remasters and remakes. Okay. Do, do the Suikoden and remakes count? No, no, no. Those are remasters. Do not count. Those are... Or okay, yeah, those are like yeah, those one are to one, oh. like like we know what those games are, like yeah, they're we, just we know prettier. What those games like, are. I don't get to choose Persona Three Portable. No, right. no, no, no. Okay, but I understand. I understand. Over twenty years old at this point. I understand why you asked, yeah. but that is too. It, it's it's just too easy to predict. That, I mean, that's like just, pixel remaster kind of territory. I'm just saying that yeah. the the vast majority of our viewers right now were born. Well, after the game came out, right? So, okay, sure, but All that's right. not the game we're playing. But yeah, that is the first one that that falls into re- the remaster category as opposed to remake. So, okay, well, that that was the primary remaster I was looking at. I'm not looking at front mission or any any others really. Um, All right, so what is your next actual choice? Safe. Uh, I am gonna go with my heart on this one. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I like to be hear. The Expanse, a Telltale series. Aha. Ooh. That's a that's Ooh. a gamble because it's also interesting. Tell, it's From also Deck Nine, the developers of uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm and True Colors, both really fucking good that's games. That's true. I do. Those are my like preferred uh, Life is Strange games. Yeah. All right. The Expanse. That's a, that's, a, that's an inspired choice. I respect it. Good good choice. Also, that that qualifies as a new gaming franchise. Uh, for Chris Davis. All right. Uh, so next is Brad's turn. Oh no, I'm not ready. Um, ready. this is where shit starts to get interesting. God. So, ooh, we are kind of like you're wasting time, Brad. You're stalling. You're stalling while you wish, make a decision. I'm not stalling. I'm not stalling for. There's no reason to stall. I gotta leave in an hour. Um. God, God. Um, okay. This year's gonna be dope, guys. I'm just telling you. <laughs> y'all, y'all really did pick a lot of my Brad games, but <sighs> it's good. This is my fifth pick, right? Uh, yes. Four. Yes, yes, fifth? your fifth. Yeah, fifth. It's your fifth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting we're getting. So so, how do drop dropping games work, Nick? Um, why would you ask me that yeah. right now? We we set we set a limit, right? I mean, you're not gonna like, pick something tonight and drop it 
tonight. No, it, no, 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 no. But you remember you set a number. If you look at the settings on the main site, the it's, ones it, I showed it's you an you, earlier, you can no? drop. You can. I'm pretty sure it's an unlimited. You can no, no. drop. It, it's it's I'm looking. you have an unlimited amount of drops if the publisher says this game is not coming out this year. Right. Okay. If mm-hmm. if they don't actually say that, you have a limit, and I think it's one. One, one droppable game that so, will, quote will release. If you lose confidence in like the quality of a game, but it still plans to come out, as long as the game isn't you released, you one can drop those. it. But you can only do that one time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, now I'm excited to hear what this pick is. That's what. That's no, the it has nothing to, uh-huh. There's nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. Oh shit! Oh shit! This has gotten. This has gotten crazy. Okay. Um. Well, okay, Brad I'm going to go with something I... that I think is pretty. Hold on. Let me. Let me look at this. Okay. Oh this does have, have a score, but it is early access. It is probably going to hit 1.0 this year. Mm. Y'all are going to have to tell me if y'all think it's fair. Okay. Okay. Because I oh, was going, I have on my list here, I have Valheim written down. Mm. Oh, okay. but like. All right. That already has an 85 on Open Critic. Like, how, how much Valheim you play, bitch? Also, I how, play, like, just think look. about this. Just think about this. How much Valheim has Nolan played? You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's early you're, access. You're, it's you're not betting 1. on a game 0. that no one's played like eighty hours of, or Probably something. Yeah, that. but I, I don't mean, think that's if, fair. If, I, I don't like. We know it's going to be good because it's already. What good. Is he, he has it written down. He has it written down. He was planning oh, on picking it, it too. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying y'all can't. Act, y'all can't act like y'all aren't being calculated. Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate counted. <laughs> if I was being calculated. Yeah. I'd be choosing y'all Baldur's, Baldur's Gate twenty three. MLB the show. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It, there's nothing wrong with being calculated, but like that's so oh, calculated. Is there an MLB that... the show game coming out this year? This but Brad, Brad. Yeah, well, we don't allow annualized <laughs> things. Uh, Brad, wait, is MLB the show oh, might oh, not oh, be annualized? Oh, wait, oh we're Brad. not. Okay, so, that's y- 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 y'all vote. Let's see, but see, what if y'all what's just up, think man? I made a good pick and now you're jelly? No, 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 no. Brad, listen. I'm being totally straight here. This is just me being like league manager. Like I'm talking rules here. Like you're talking about. You're talking about claiming a game that m- several people on this podcast have already played like 80 hours of and we already know it's good like there's no chance that game is going to fail like that yeah, there's so no way they're going to release that and then it's going to get like okay a 60 okay, look, look. Look. Nate, Nate, okay. what are you talking about like we let somebody pick Baldur's gate 3 it's like the exact same thing but Baldur's Gate 3 is an unfinished story game that they have only released part of uh, in fact not even half of I mean you ha- you have a you have a good point I, I almost now but, I'm almost okay. tempted to say no on Baldur's Gate, <laughs> but but you it, oh that's God. too fucking late because that was my first pick. But but, so but, but also, how long has Valheim been in early access? Because Baldur's Gate's only been it's in been early access years. for like a year. That I mean, this is this wasn't. But the thing is, like, that's true. If I had named an early access game that. Like some of my games on my list are early access game because so many fucking indie games are early access. Hey, hey, like they hey, launch an to, early to, access to, first. To Fine. Crispy's point. It could, it could not. It, it's potential that it doesn't even come out this year. I mean, uh, it, it, doesn't, all right. it couldn't hit one. It doesn't, if it doesn't okay, go one okay. zero. All right. Well, let's, okay. Here's no. another factor. No, no. Let's. I will let y'all veto, but I got to ask wait, y'all a question. Wait, wait, wait. Calm What's down, up, killer. Nick? Hold on a second. I'm trying to pull it up. It's V A L H E I M, right? Yeah. It's not even finding it. It might be in one of our tags might be preventing it, but like typically, yeah, no, no, yeah. we talked about this. It is specifically a tag that we're preventing. It's games currently in early access. Yeah, that's actually not on our ban list. No, no, the, no. The the, the, the the thing is, early access is allowed. Oh, there's a uh, okay. I got you. I got you. There's a different uh, one or something. No, the, what, what the, I'm what I'm saying is there is a early access tag, and that is not on our banned tag list. Right. It should be on here. Like here, let me just make sure this is still like uh. I mean, I'm looking at it on the the page one of the hot games list. Or okay, whatever. I'm just saying. I, like, I type in Baldur's Gate, I immediately get I immediately get the search. If I type in yeah, Valheim, but the thing is, he makes a, like a, okay, I there it is. I don't they, I don't know why they, I don't know why it didn't come up before. It didn't come up before. Now it's up. So I'll uh, let y'all vote, but but I have to ask a question before y'all do. Well, I'm trying to get to like well, the percent of people who have picked it. Uh, it's. 
like 40%. 40%? No. Yeah, 40%. Yeah, forty percent. Seems like a lot. So yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. I'm fine the, with it. The reason is, I think it's a slippery slope, and I, I have some indie games, a couple indie games on my list that are also in early access that I think y'all wouldn't question at all. And I, I feel like we, that's why we kind of have to make a rule about if we're, if we're comfortable with early access games hitting 1.0 this year. I mean, I know it's a case by case basis, but like you. If it wasn't Valheim, y'all wouldn't give me shit. Well, here's... And, so I, and here, I feel like that's unfair. I know it's unfair because he, the distinction I'm making in my head is like with Baldur's Gate 3, Crispy has played a bunch of it. The rest of us haven't even touched it, so we don't even know. And it's not even going on Crispy's list. It's on your list. But this is a game that, that you have played. And I you, wanted fucking Street Fighter. Okay. What does that, that mean? Well, what does that mean? That's totally different. Okay. You know what? Wait, wait, I'll allow it. Why should it? I mean, like the only reason it's on his list and not mine is because he picked it before. Yeah. I, even had it I before. know, I know, but like Carlos it, showed that it was written down on his list. Okay, you're right. Sorry, I'll back off. I will allow. You make Valheim. a good point because how many reviews are there? Oh, I don't like, know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not that. against your. I'm not against your argumentation. Point all reviews, if it does come out, could lower the score because people have been turned out on it, or maybe they put the game somewhere. There's there's currently 15 reviews on Open Critic. With I mean, what's the score right now? 85. 85. I mean, I don't. I don't see that dropping very much. What if it was a 75, Nick? I mean, I would be. I would. I would be. I would be less. Argumentative. I would be. Listen, I would man, certainly I'm, be less I'm argumentative. In, I'm in second to last place, arguably the worst position to be in. So you got to throw me a bone here. All right, fine. I'm gonna. I, Carlos was gonna pick it. So like, oh fuck. I mean, the conversation would have happened when Carlos picked it. One way or the other. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe right. you're right. But, I'm not. I'm not making like, this argument because is, it's you. I'm gonna name a game later that is also an early access and. I feel like you're going to be like, that's totally fine. And I feel like if we're going to be like that with that in Baldur's Gate, then we you got to let Valheim slide, to be honest. All right, but all you're right. right. I'm, I'm letting it slide. I'm letting because you're right. 40% there, of people picked it. They can't all be. You're right. You're right. I'm letting it slide. Valheim is, is a fine choice. We're, we're moving on. I'm letting you. It's going on your list. Uh, I have to Thank click you. this warning because it's telling me you're crazy. This game already has a score. <laughs> I'm adding it to the publisher list. Okay. Um, so now we're at Crispy. What does chat think, by the way? One's in chat for I think a lot of people in chat are in your... For... I think a lot of people oh, in chat are in your I, I want to see the ones and the twos. One's if you think it, it's fine. Two, if you think it's not fair. I just want to see. We've already decided. Go ahead, Crispy. <clears throat> All right. All right, my turn? Yep. You actually get two picks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck you, Nolan. We're in a bad spot, guys. <laughs> We're in a bad spot. No, now. we're in a good spot. I'm, Currently, Slate is first. I'm gonna pick this game because I genuinely believe it might be really cool. I want to play it. It it is created and published by the studio that produced Ooh, last year's say. game of the year. That's right, Armored Core Six: Fires of Rubicon. Ooh, I thought about that one. I, I was like, I was, it, it might not come out this year, but if it does, mm, 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 I think mm. it'll come out. But I think it will too. the question is well, how people will receive it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think this next one. Damn. Probably the riskiest one I've made so far. Ooh. This one I think is a real risk. I don't even necessarily believe in it myself. But it might prove us all wrong. Okay. It might it, or or there might be enough of those people still around that like this game gets an okay score. Alright? Okay. Okay. Atomic Heart. Oh Ooh. god damn you, Crispy! God damn it! You took Ooh, mine. That, that was gonna be a risk. that was gonna be my voting from the heart pick. Like like uh, that, that was, was gonna that be was like my no, number man, eight. Big. Like that was your that, voting hey, with your hey, graphics boner. Guess what? Winner. Now now you got somebody else in Discord who's who's rooting for this game to do. Well. I love it. I I I'm glad. Uh, inspired choice. <laughs> inspired choice. Uh, it's not yeah. inspired. <laughs> no, it's fucking inspired, dude. That game, that's a huge risk. That game could fail miserably, uh, but it, it also has the potential uh, to be really, really fucking right. cool. Um, <laughs> and 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 see, it, it is not maybe not. It's not secretly, but it is like low key one of my. I, I find myself thinking about that game a lot. Like I am super excited. It could be excited a solid eighty. It. it could be like a solid eighty. 
know? It could be a solid 80 or it could be a 50. Who the fuck it, knows? At this point, I'm just hoping don't lose me points and I'll be happy with this pick. You know, yeah. It looks like it looks like a game that everybody loves, but that somehow only gets a seven. I, like it, life. yeah, it, well, or like or like one of those games that comes out, everyone plays it for a, le- a week. They're like, "This is an eighty-five, and then nobody talks about it again. I don't fucking care if nobody ever talks about it again. That first week, if it's getting scores, if it's doing numbers, if it's making me fucking money, that's all I need from it. <laughs> How all right, corporate of you. <laughs> all right, uh, so now we're moving on to back, uh, turning back around well, to Brad. It's called video game okay. business, not video okay. game friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it's Brad me? down for for spoken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking for spoken, man. I'm not picking. I'll for do it, spoken. bitch. Don't tempt I me. I want someone to pick for spoken because I want some easy counter pick potential. Um, man, maybe I should pick for spoken. Metroid Prime for no. Okay. Whew. You got three more picks, Brad. You got you to pick okay. wisely. All right. I have three more picks? Yep. Okay. Right? Right? Did I count? Did I, did I, you have five on your list right now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got three more okay. tonight. <laughs> we have to do so, the new so game. Should, should I do something tonight? truly crazy? Should no, I no. As long as at the end of the year. Now? As long as. Should, sorry. I just throw, should I throw it all the way here now? Sorry. Real quick. Carlos had a good question for people listening at home. Uh, no, we don't have to fill all of our new game franchise picks tonight. As long as at the end of the year, those three slots are filled. So if you don't if you don't fill them tonight, you got to fill them when we do our pickups in the middle of the year, or when you bid on something after dropping it, or whatever. So, all right, go ahead. I Brad. am going with a game. Hmm, I got three picks. Okay, this is a game that has is has been in early access, but it's not. It probably doesn't have any reviews. I don't think it has any reviews. But okay. that's besides the point. But the thing the thing I know about this game is that I've heard a lot of good things from the people who played it. And I'm pretty confident it is going to f- hit 1.0 this year. Probably on nobody's short list here. But I've just heard glowing things about the game. I'm going to go with the indie game. And I've been waiting for 1.0 on this. Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill? Oh, okay. Oh. All right. That's a good pick. Oh, like man. I, 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 that's from New Blood. Kill. Oh fuck! It's a it's a boomer shooter. Consider me interested. Ultra Kill. I've okay. Heard, I've heard first only glowing Devil things about cry. Ultra Kill. Yeah, it's, it's a first new... person Devil May Cry where you play as a robot. It's a New Blood production. Ooh. Yeah, I I streamed a prototype of that like way before it even hit early access on Steam way back in the day. Uh, and just I FYI, I mean, Brad, uh, you have you have now officially filled your new game franchise quota. Yay! So, not that, that you could still obviously pick more, but. You've you filled that that. I wasn't promise. even thinking about it because I All knew right. it was going to happen when we got to indies. All right. Uh, so next we're up. We have Chris Davis. Okay. All right. You should, have, you should also have three spots left, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, you. you yeah, I know. Alan Wake two for me, which really ticked me off. Oh, you should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah, but I figured that would be like a like a second round pick for you. Like he shouldered round. that burden for you. You should thank him. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> How dare you, Crispy? How fucking dare you? Hey, I mean, it's a remedy game. You know, I'm just calling. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Let the man talk. Chris Davis, what's your pick? Uh, Okay. You know what? This will be a risk, but I'm going to try it. Amnesia the Bunker. Oh, fuck. I was going to. Okay. Consider that revenge for Alan Wake, bro. God damn it. Yeah. Those that was gonna... on the same level. Uh, you know, not the same level, but I, that, that's another game that I've been thinking about like every day since it was announced, uh, and I was absolutely going to maybe pick that in the next three. <laughs> Brickstone has a lot of good energy coming out of their announcement for that game. Uh, was it two months ago? Actually, about a, that was a about really a month ago. quality show off, um, wow. and they've never put out a bad game. I will say this. You are taking a bit of a gamble. Uh, mm-hmm. Because Amnesia uh, uh, Rebirth was a lot, didn't Rebirth. do as well as it probably could. It was like a 70 71. So that would have been like one or two points, I think, if I remember correctly. If that, it, maybe someone could yeah. check my, my memory on that. But, uh, but you know, Amnesia the Dark Descent did really, really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Soma and mixes Soma. was. It did really well. I think well. Soma did, got like 80s, like, or like low 80s, maybe. Yeah. I, I do want to like, say. I, I feel like frictional in the years since rebirth have figured out what they need to do with this game with this franchise but also rebirth wasn't bad it was you know yeah it it wasn't bad bad. 
but they're they're adding tension by also incorporating a self defense mechanism. And so it's a survive. This is this is like kind of a new genre. It's like a survival game. Uh, it's kind of open. It's kind of you know you can kind of explore these bunkers and any. It's not like super will say, funneling you. Yeah. So that's pretty. I feel exciting. like the the most time consuming and stressful thing is going to be doing our counter picks, and I am thinking about time. Um, we if have 45 we run minutes. out of time for me, can, maybe we should just do one counter pick tonight. Well, we're wasting like, time right now. That was the original just, plan. We have okay, plenty go, of time. We can pick up the pace starting right now. So, sort of. uh, good pick. Chris Davis, Amnesia the Bunker. I hate you. Uh, Carlos. Hey, I got my next one lined up. God damn it. Just... Yep. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Carlos, are you there? Carlos is making thorough notes. Okay. Um, Exo Primal. Wait, oh. wait, 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 what? You're throwing it away. What do you mean? I've never heard one. Wait, you can't be serious. Exo Primal? No. This game? Oh, that, no. Is this the Carlos one where they're like, like dumping he, raptors he out of portals? He's like, no, oh, yeah. I blew it. The Today's dinosaur, dinosaur forecast. forecast. Am I going to let you throw this, throw this? I... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. We all got to make a counter right. pick. So. Exo Primal. That's an e- Okay. Exo Primal. Fascinating pick. Fucking absolutely fascinating. All right. Uh, that is the one I'm thinking about, right? Where like the portal in the sky opens up and like the raptors are falling out of it. Okay. Hey Nick. Now hey, you're Nick. all in mech suits. Hey what? Nick. What? Hey Nick, what? it's your turn. Yeah. It's your turn. You didn't yeah. pick the elephant in the room. You I, fucking coward. I didn't pick the elephant. I'm looking at my coward. list. Hold on. Hold, hold. You're a fucking coward. You probably didn't write don't, it down, don't, even don't though it's a game that list. you're excited about. Well, it's a game you're excited about, and it's not on your list. Brad, stop sure. giving him ideas. Mm-hmm. You're a coward. Well, I mean. There's an obvious one that I think, but I'm like, I, 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 if what I'm thinking of is what you're thinking of, then it's it's kind of risky. But I'm still probably gonna put it on oh, my list. Shit. So I'm so gonna do it now. S- All right, fine. Silent Hill Two remake. Is that what you're thinking of? No. <laughs> what? Yes, that's what I was thinking of. That's yeah, well, me too. Well, mm. I'm absolutely gonna put Silent Hill Two remake on my list because. You know, it's one of my top five games of all time, and it's a remake, and it looks beautiful. Nick is betting big on Bloober, and I, I think you. I think this is a pretty safe bet. It's going to come out this year. Uh, they have several projects in the works, and 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 this one, they've been talking about it a lot. I think it's I think it's a safe bet for release. Uh, it is obviously a risk, but I do like Bloober quite a bit, uh, and they've really they've had some 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 big hits for me. Uh, and I think you know, this is this is going to be their biggest project they've ever done. So it's real, it's a real gamble, but I'm going for it. Silent Hill 2 remake. What the fuck are you thinking of, Brad? What the fuck am I? I mean, we've, forgetting? I've been joking about it all week, but oh, we'll, we'll get to it. Hey, that's not a. All right, go go, Nolan. You son oh, of a okay. Uh, well, my next game is one I'm I'm surprised no one's picked yet um because I think we were all fairly positive when we saw the initial trailer for it I think we were all pretty hyped we're like god damn this looks fucking good um so I'm pretty hyped and it has an official release date um, uh, so I'm going to go with nice Wild Hearts art. Wait Wild Hearts? No, oh Wild Hearts. Wild oh. Hearts. Oh, I I that's going to be good. That's I on my short list of that's on my list of uh I put it as risky, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm worried it's gonna be like low seventies. Um, I don't. I, I, do no, know. I think it's gonna be better than that. I think we're living I in a post Monster so. Hunter world, and that's the they, thing, they, is they've made hunting games the, before, and the, the hunting games they made before mm-hmm. are respected by the community who plays hunting games. So, and the the people who have kind of gotten into Monster Hunter, I think, are looking to scratch that itch still, and it's a new game that can kind of get them keep them going. Because I haven't the, written down, I haven't written down my list. The only thing that scared me off a little is honestly EA's involvement. That's yeah, the only I, I, thing get that scared I get me it. Off a little. But, yeah. uh, also, I think, I think at this point in the draft, it's a great pick. So, uh, Nola, I just want to let you know that you that's, have officially that's all my new game franchises. Yep, for sure. I, I, I saw fulfilled it. All right. Um, so, what's your next pick? Oh fuck. Ooh. Okay. So the the next one's a tough pick for me um, because at this point, I, I've kind of gone through almost all of my options that I had pre picked for this, which is like I said, like I was worried that was going to get here. Obviously, everyone uh, picked. Um, there's hold on. There's there's one more um, that I I think I'm debating on doing. 
Um, no, all right. So I'm going to go with um, uh, Theater Rhythm, Final Bar Line. Uh, Ooh, okay. The first right. one reviewed well. This one, the trailer yeah. looks really good. Um, Damn. Uh, I think it's, it might it's have a, a game lot of potential. I'm, you'll be playing day one. I'll be playing yeah, this one rhythm, day one. Final I Bar series. Line. All right. Well, I don't know how it, how it's going to review, but I love this series. Yeah, that's the thing is it once again, I think it's another risky one because I think it's either going to do real well, like high how 80s or call, like dude? 70s. Um, fairly well, if how I recall. Um, 84. Yeah. So yeah, not it's a good fucking series. In fact, mm-hmm. I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> I didn't know how to spell it and I didn't type it out. All right. Uh, it's me again. I feel like I should start pick. I I need to start. I need to pick a couple indies here, man. Uh, a lot of the stuff I've been picking is pretty, pretty high indie? high profile, man. I got a lot of indies game um, um, games on my list here that I haven't I haven't dipped into yet. What what, what I've round got is this? An indie by game the way? that's a high risk high reward. Uh, this will so. be my this will be my seventh game. So I only have two choices oh, left. Okay, this is my second to last pick. Um, and. Uh, oh my god! And I, and fuck, fucking crispy took atomic heart, motherfucker. Um, Nick, there's an Justice. elephant. Pick the game, you coward. You, you are you? I know what you. If you're excited about this game, you should pick it. But I. Why, but like, why would you be excited about a game but, that's not going to be good? But Brad, you also, you, motherfucker. One of my favorite games of all time is a seventy. Which would be zero points. So like, we're pl- I'm also playing. T- I do. I would like to win <laughs> here. Oh, hold on, Nick. Nick. Days Gone got a seventy-one. Hey, that's one, one point, man. That's one yeah. point. That's one point. That's one, one point. point, not zero point. But he's yeah. sitting here trying to convince me to pick Dead Dead Island Two. Hey, that could review well. There's a lot of hype behind it. The first one had a lot of issues, look, but I think they fixed look, a whole lot. If you look, thirty-two point five percent of people have picked that game. Yeah. Don't fuck it. Zombie I'm not games, falling, man. I'm not falling for your bullshit. <laughs> Oh, I mean, fuck. Nick, seriously, if you're excited about it and 32.5% of people are picking it. All right. I, I'm not even sure. If, let me see. What's the, what's the prospect of this game coming out this year? Coward. Sulaco. It says 2023 or later. No, no, no. I no. wouldn't trust Sulaco. I know, I know, I know. It's too risky. It's too risky. Um, I'm also thinking about Replaced. Hey, Which, hey, hey, Nick! You gotta stop saying games out loud. You gotta, because especially with chat, you gotta just pick something. I know, I know. Sorry, I'm just fuck. I'm like having. I only have two picks you, left tonight, can, man. No, no, you can be torn. Just don't say names of games I know. out loud. I'm. Th- it's it's how it's it's how I. It's my process. I'll try. I'm I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, process is where I think I think I'm gonna go with replaced. I'm gonna go with replaced. Okay. Right. We've seen this game quite a bit. Uh, they're starting to show more of it lately. And from day one, from the moment we saw this, this game had such style. And it's just, oh my god. I hope I hope there is enough like gameplay depth and nuance there to like really drive the reviews. Because if it's if it's a pretty straightforward like platformer, I could see it maybe underperforming. But if we don't even really know what this game plays like, but it looks absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go with replaced. Um, and it's, I think it's a bit of a gamble, but that's the world we live in. I'm going to take gambles. It's also my second new game franchise. Um, all right. Uh, Carlos. Uh, this will be your seventh Horizon pick. Horizon Call of the Mountain. Call of the Mountain. Ooh. Ooh, first listening VR pick. Chat, huh? mm-hmm. Brave motherfucker. Is he listening to chat? Carlos, let me see your list. Is it written down? I mean, somebody in chat did recently say Horizon VR. Yes, it's the only like non. It's the only like the new. It's list. the only PS5 VR game list. that's not a PS4 VR port coming out with PSVR two. Uh, I'll be pl- I'll okay. be playing that. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, we know, we know. Yeah, oh. that's also one that I thought about. Mm. All right, so. Call of the Mountain. That mm-hmm. brings us to Chris Davis. It's okay to lack the courage of your convictions. Motherfucker, I courage put... Con- I've taken some real risks tonight. You should give me some more credit. 
Okay. I just want to see Dead Island too. But you're this just is a game. I'm going. To... Go, ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just chastising Brad. Uh, the the my seventh pick is going to be a, an indie game that we recently got a, a a trailer for with a listed 2023 date. No guarantees, but I'm, you know, I'll, I'll I'll take a risk. It's been chosen by 3.9 percent of people. 3.9. Oh yeah, I thought Ooh. about that myself. Because oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, those look cool. Because yeah. that game looks fucking rad as hell. I was just sitting yeah, here wondering if it's actually. People just don't think it's coming out. Uh, it yeah, it's it's it's, it's estimated to 2023, but I think that actually that abs- if that comes out this year, that looks like it absolutely has the potential to be like their their trailer on the end card said 2023. Yeah. So good. Pick. No lied good yeah. fucking. Pick. All right. Uh, Brad's Jimmy's Gym Joint. What is your seventh pick? I'm going to pick a game that I intend to play. I bought the first game. I have it's not about started damn it, time. But it is right. it, it is the second game in in this in sort of the the middle chapter of the Legend of Heroes series. Um, Trails to Zero came out last year, and Azura comes out this year. Legend and of Heroes? So my pick's going to go to Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Oh, Trails okay. to Azure. Okay, that's coming out March 14th, that's it looks like. Azure. Seems like a Brad-ass pick. It is a remaster. I own the first game. It was already released um, internationally. Okay, but it- yeah, one. It's never come out in the West before. Does that uh, fly? Well, like okay. it's never been released. It's given me the warning that this game is not eligible because the released inter- it released internationally tag has been banned, and also because the remaster tag has been but banned. But it doesn't have. It's a remaster, well, remaster part, and it, it's already been the, released the, internationally. The remaster part of it doesn't matter because it's never been released here. So, so my <laughs> question is, does that? fly like does something like live alive from from last year not count i mean but game? doesn't this I mean, game have this game has released outside of the states therefore doesn't it already have reviews i mean you may not have read them because there might have been but there's there i mean there's it's not on fucking open critic or anything i mean Literally yeah, yeah. Where, a game where, that's never where released was it here. released outside of japan um, i'm pretty sure it was just released well, in well, japan, japan it, it was released in japan obviously i, I mean, don't mean what do you I'm fine. I'm. Fine. I mean, it doesn't have a score. What do you think? I mean, this it, is our first international. It's never came out over here. It's not scored over here. I know, like fans like it who played like some fucking fan translated version maybe years ago. But this is a. I am. I mean, I'm this is a fairly big Brad release. I mean, I'm, this risk. I just don't know how risky it is because I mean, like it's out. I, I think people it's have played risky. it. It is yeah, a game I'm genuinely excited about. It is. It's a 12 year old game. It's a 12 year old. I game. mean, so are a lot of. I also like how that... Brad's like, we need to go faster, and then keeps co- picking controversial games that stop, and we have to have discussions. I mean, I'm about... not doing yeah. it. I'm not doing it. Look, 15.6 percent of people picked this. Okay. I mean, all right. I don't know. The, the, Look, I can pick something else if y- if y'all want to vote no, but like, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I mean, let him, let him do it. Drunken Merchants is calling us out saying Resident Evil Four is an old game too, but we're talking about a re- from the ground up remake, which is going to be probably just as different as Resident Evil Two remake was it is the still, original. But 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 put it this way, it is still a game that we know is rock fucking. I mean, Resident Evil Four is like. And it's one of the also, highest rated games of all time. But, it's like a 97 on Metacritic. Uh, also, and this is going to be a prettier version of it. And you're giving me shit for some obscure Japanese well, RPG that only. Bog noise, Bog noise also asked a decent question, which is how many people are even going to review this? Like, is it going to get three reviews? No, it, no, it will get reviews because JRPG people care about this series, and that's okay. why I picked it. All right, I'm overriding I, this. I We're going to let it fly. I can show you my copy of Trails to Zero. Would you like to see my copy of Legend of Heroes Trails to Zero? Will All that right. help you know that this is a pick from the heart? All right, I'm letting I'm letting you have it. All right. Um, I mean, look, you don't have to be the judge here. Y'all can let other people vote. 
I mean, well, you can let other people you, vote. We can do ones and twos in chat. We can do the six of y'all Brad, or the five of y'all. You've been saying it all night. Like we ha- we have a time constraint on this. We need to get. We have thirty. We have thirty three minutes know, before just, we have to be I done. I don't want to be. I don't want to feel like a scumbag. You're, you're not. A, no one's. That's calling why I would like for y'all to vote. Fine. Let's go. Let's go. No one's calling okay, you a scumbag. Okay. Although okay. it is giving. It is highlighting your pick in orange and with with a little thing that says <laughs> in, it says ineligible. It's because, it's because we have. It's because we you set the tag of not allowing international release. So if I if I if but okay, I don't even but I overwrote them. I don't even think you knew what you were. That was just a. Let's go. Let's okay, go. go Let's go. Continue. Right. Continue. C- crispy. Uh, your, your last two picks for the night. Fuck me. Fuck me sideways. Um. Okay, this one is a risk, but I don't know. It looks. It's got heart and and. And you know what? It's got two words attached to it that I think might make for some decent response. And that is Lovecraftian Metroidvania. Wait. Oh, I'm is thinking it? The Last Case of Benedict yeah, Fox. Yeah, that's, that's, a, good, that's Ooh, a good pick. This is a good looking game. Okay. That is a good pick. Uh, <laughs> that, no one just made, like no one one just made that noise of like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> it's on my list. Yeah. I knew that was going to come up somewhere tonight. Uh, and what is your last pick of the night, Crispy? Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. This is really just like a jump shot. I have no idea if it's going to go in. Um, let me just make sure that we're still good. God, no, like, ah, 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 stupid, 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 bad, bad choice, but I'm going to make it anyway because I, I, I've come too far. Um, fuck, fuck, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, God damn it. Oh, my brain. Oh, okay. Uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. There okay. it is. All I was... Right. Wow, that's risk. I like it. I mean, that's a bold choice, my friend. The first one was like sick. The it was first sick. One was good, and I liked it. it. It wasn't great. It was good, and I liked it. If this is more of that, it's gonna bomb, and I just shot myself in the foot. But, but, but maybe it'll be better, and people will be like, "Oh, hey, that's kind of fun." And I mean, like, but like, if you just look at the aggregate of all forty k video games out there like most of them suck like so oh god damn it i fucked it i fucked it what i haven't i haven't clicked it yet if you want me to if you want no me to... i did it ah, 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 it's, that's it that's it that's all it. right there you go chris crispy has a finished list uh for the night oh, all right back to me it's back to you brad the only person with an orange bar <laughs> You want one more orange bar or what? No, no. Jeez, just go, just go. I was gonna do the riskiest pick of the night. You've already done like two of literally, them. Literally, literally throwing away points here. Okay. This is a pick for world peace. <laughs> the Advanced Wars one and two remake. Ah. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Is that really what you're going? End the no. war in Ukraine. Oh, can play advance wars are you is that really your, what you're That's going what with i said i well i mean is that fair is that remake yes. enough for you is that not risky enough for you yeah i think this game has a chance of never coming out i think it is entirely that possible too. that nintendo forgot they were doing this <laughs> <laughs> i don't even think it'll score particularly well then what are you doing are you playing to win or not do you want me to do it okay fine Fine. No, no. No, 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 no. he already said it. Put it I, on his I, list. I just thought World Peace. Tie that all the cross around his neck. Pick. I know. See, no. I feel like in this situation, the only reason you want me to let it slide is because you think it's like a terrible fucking pick and you want easy counter. No, I'm just potential. saying this is your last pick of the night. Is this what is this how you want to end it? And that's totally fine if you do. I was trying to vote for my heart and be symbolic. All and... right, then here we go. I'm picking it. You good? No, 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 no. I it in. No, he has to. Yeah, he already said it. You can't back out. I don't know. I can't back out. Brett, you're the one who's slowing us down more than anybody. 
what are you doing? We're in the last round here. I'm not too worried. All right. Well, what's the word? What's y'all's vibe here? Y- y- y'all like it? Y'all don't like it? I'm fine I with like it. it. I'm fine with it. I think it's a bold choice. I think it's a risky choice, but but you you still you have the if they if they eventually say it's not coming, you can drop it. And if you decide if you lose faith in it down the road, you can drop it. No, I'm not gonna be able to drop it because y'all are damn sure gonna counterpick this, you motherfuckers. All right. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> I could always pick this up later. I could always pick this up later. You could. You could pick it up later in the year. Yeah, Depending money. on like world events. Okay, I'm gonna pick something else. All right. That was, pick something else. that was close. Everyone seemed know. a little weird on that one, anyways. <laughs> I'm being real. Um, I'm gonna go with the indie game that we saw many, 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 many years ago. I think maybe it was the first time we saw Spy Party. Next to it was an mm. indie game that I know is finally coming out this year. It's called Storyteller. And I thought it always looked like a really cool idea. And it's finally coming out, supposedly. And Story I still time. think it's coming out it March is a 23rd. really strong fucking idea. So I'll make that my last pick. All right. Storyteller. Storyteller it is. Brad's list, his initial list is... Done. All right. So, Chris Davis, your last pick of the night. Okay. I believe this is your... My last pick yes. of the night for 2023 is going to be potentially the potentially the only good Ubisoft game coming out this year. And that's going to be Assassin's Creed Mirage. Ooh. Yeah. I thought about it that is, one. It's It is described as... Cutting back from the uh, the RPG aspects. I love how this series has like gone. From, like everyone got so sick and tired of like their original formula, and then they veered hard to the left, and people were like this is amazing. And now, just <laughs> three games later, people are like, "Please course correct, move back." Yeah, but that's why it's a good pick because it's like literally all the criticism about this series has melted away, and now all that's left is like, "Oh, it's too good. Make make it less like bear it down." <laughs> I mean, this this is a game that's described to be about fifteen to twenty hours long. So it's, so it's not going to be. It's a leaner as fuck. It's a leaner Assassin's Creed game. If it comes out this year, Mister Mortal Kombat Twelve. I'm pretty I, sure this hey, is a safe bet. This would be like an October release. Almost. Ubisoft positive. needs something this year because they're not going to put out Beyond Good and Evil Two. It could just have a bad year. Oh shit! Where was that, Brad? Why didn't you put that? On? <laughs> Uh, um, also, because, Chris Davis, you forgot um, all about Avatar uh, front, Frontiers of Pandora. I thought about Avatar, but I have a... Nick, you could still pick this. I could. I have a serious fear about that game. Well, I think we all do. <laughs> well, I, no, I, I get the based on the way they're presenting it and like the fact that it's already way past the movie coming out. It's probably not, I don't think it's going to make 2024, first off. They're going to time and it with the next movie. Even if it movie. is massive entertainment, which I love, like this is them stretching themselves. Also, this really makes me think of uh, uh, what was that that not met game from Bioware? That oh fucking oh god. Okay, now what are we talking about? Now it's going to drive me crazy. Why can't I remember the name of that game? What are we talking about here, though? Anthem. Yeah, anthem. this could this could be mm-hmm. this could be massive entertainment's anthem. I don't know if that. I think that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. Uh, Carlos, what's your last pick of the night? Right, there are better games to pick, but. <laughs> It's the last game of the night, so... Go for broke. Routine. Ah! Oh, Dare I to live the dream, buddy. He, Dare I, to live the thing. I was, he said the thing. It literally says to be announced. I'm so it doesn't proud even, of you. It doesn't even give a year estimate on this. But, God, I hope you're right, because that looked amazing <laughs> when they showed it again. All right. Dare to live boldly. Damn. I'm so proud of you. What a, what a final pick of the night for... The, for you know what? Those. I I'm pretty certain that it'll come out, but I know it's gonna suck. <laughs> it's been it's you been in it's development suck, way huh? too long. There's been too much drama around the development. We've had Alien Isolation come since. Everybody's gonna be saying that it's just riffing on Alien Isolation when it's the opposite, Hell and that's yeah. gonna kill it. Can't Routine, wait. according to Fantasy Critics' uh, webpage here, has a negative 0.2 hype factor with a 0.4 percent pick rate. Motherfucker. Okay. Wow. 
<laughs> wow. High hey, risk, Nick, high by reward, the way, man. On that orange bar, you are going to have to do a tag override. Otherwise, it's not going to add up the points. Do I have to do it right now? No, no, you don't have to do it right now, but you have to do it eventually. Okay. Preferably um, before the game releases. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So my final pick of the night. Um, oh, my God. I hate I'm... that Crispy got Forza. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty fuck. All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna end my uh, my picks tonight with another uh, potentially Nick. risky game. Uh, uh, it's not with your heart. The... I am voting with my heart. Heart in fact, I, in fact, in fact, I'm voting with my. Here, let me see if I can make this work on the stream. I'm voting with my heart of Chernobyl, Stalker Two. Stalker okay. Two, heart Ooh. of Chernobyl. Wait a minute, isn't that that is publisher uh, like getting like? Aren't they facing uh, hey, actual? Let's move on. We got to do counter picks. Wait, I got what? 20 minutes left. Now then, you picked it. Let's go. I mean, they're in they're in the Ukraine. Is that what you're alluding to? Yes, just add it. Let's go. Yes, that is what he's talking about. Why do you have to make yeah. it all weird? I was, I'm was, i genuinely excited about this game. No, I'm not uh, y'all made too. it weird when I picked Advance Wars. No, I'm not trying to make it weird. I'm saying that, like, that's risk. I know. That's they are literally like, developing a game in a war zone. Like, But, like, they, you know, they've, they've moved their studio. And, I don't know. I mean... They're they're they have been re promoting it lately and talking about how it's coming out this year, so Fuck. I don't I know. You don't realize that's for Heart of Chernobyl, you right? Just, you Not just Chernobyl. Gotta, you just gotta click yes. this. Now you're making me Nick, question. No one's gonna pick God, factions. Nick. No one, what's Fine. your last pick? Factions, baby. Factions. I'll be there with you. All right, there we go. I, I, my, my fear is is it's not gonna review it. What the fuck is that noise I keep hearing? I don't know. Oh, I think it's I know I it's because I have a tab open with our uh, oh what you're probably, looking at Nick and every yeah, time it's, you add it, it 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 gives me an alert yeah you know? it makes a little okay oh it's because it's my turn yes that's yeah. why Nolan yeah. before you say may I make a suggestion to you this is this is wholeheartedly sure. honest to you I would seriously consider Mina the the Hollower. What? what the fuck what? are you okay Nina first of all Hollower. it doesn't even have a date and it's what not going to be early even about? if it does. also second of all you're not supposed to be helping no, him win it's, it's the new show him. yeah what the fuck are you he got first pick and you're helping him that's a bad pick anyways chris davis is misinformed i think okay, that game is going right. to review well it is it is estimated super late this year i don't think that's a safe i want to know what's coming from nolan's heart for his final pick of the night yeah, what the yeah, fuck it's, was it's that? Last pick. You're crazy. It's got to. It's got to be inspired. It's got to be an inspired choice. Um, uh, but I, I'm also. Boots. I'm also sure. M- Mina is a new game franchise. So it I is, can't but pick. You can. Oh yeah. You can, no, no. You, you can. You, you can pick as many. I literally no, 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 you can, cannot. You pick can. It. Oh, you can. No, no. You yeah. can. You have to have at least three new game franchises. Uh, oh fuck me, yeah. dude! For the past yeah. like. 20 minutes I've been searching for just new games because I thought I was limited to that. Uh, Motherfucker. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to give that impression. No, yeah, you, that's yeah, all right. Yeah. I, 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 I misinterpreted the rules. You were searching for games? He, no, I was searching for just new games, not new game franchises. So that's why I've been kind of like, fuck, mm. I don't know what I'm going to pick next because I have the last pick. Um, and a lot of the stuff that, you know, like I said, that have been on my watch you, list. You thought you had to uh, eliminate? Yeah, so give me give me one second. Sorry, I misinterpreted the rules. Um, not, not a problem. I'm I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. Uh, um, while we're doing that, should I try and override this thing? I don't. Uh, yeah. No, no, don't, don't worry about that now. I don't want you to click off or do anything weird. You'll be able to do it later. Prince has a good suggestion. What's What's Prince's suggestion? Don't. Oh, don't let let my no fear one is I don't think I don't think heart. that's gonna come out is my only problem. I don't think that's coming out this year. I think that one's easy fodder for a, a counter pick, which we gotta do. Oh, really, Brad? Thanks. I didn't notice. <laughs> Mister, all of my picks have been like under a minute, and yet all of yours we've spent like fifteen minutes discussing. So time. you can give me. No, it's getting you cranky. Can, you, you can give me a minute here to make sure I'm making a not. No, I'm not bad rushing choice. you. I'm reminding the room. I could give an oh. update on where we stand and where we also, stand based on projections right now. <laughs> I'm only, that, no, 
Oh, yeah. Okay, you mean the automated thing? Yeah, the automated. I mean, it doesn't mean much. Uh, well, I'm definitely not going to be in the winning there because it's not even calculating one of mine. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're doing better than you probably think you are. Right here. Yeah, dude, you're almost what, what in the, the top half thinks. of the group. <laughs> it's it's literally... Yeah. The fa- it's really stupid. That they even have that feature, but okay. <laughs> oh, um, World Teller. I forgot about that game. I, I do remember watching the trailer for that one, and that one looks pretty good. Um, so I go. I will go with that one. Oh, Planet uh, of Lana. Planet of Lana. Yeah, I forgot about that. I do remember us like watching uh, when they announced that one. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. It's the one that looks kind of like a little side-scrolling me, like a Miyazaki movie. It looks kind of mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't know how else to describe it, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I oh, think a lot of people. Oh shit! I think a lot of people mm. thought this may have been play dead for a hot second when they first announced it. No, it looks it. like an inside kind of game. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah, it does. Oh fuck! Planet of Lana. Okay, okay. so that concludes um, all of our. T- it's time to do counter picks. So, um, Crispy, you're first. So mm-hmm. select next game. Hold on. Okay. So hold on. You you currently have I think you currently have it set to us doing one on draft night, unless you changed it. No, okay. So crispy gets to pick the neck gets to pick the first counter pick. It says and, it says counter it, picks to draft one. Oh, and hold, you can't really see it on my screen here. Hold on, I'm not sure if this. Which is fine. We we can do the second counter pick later if y'all want. Well, just we have 20 minutes. Let's just get started, crispy. Okay, um, I'm gonna take. <laughs> what I think is a slam dunk of a counter pick and say Mortal Kombat 12. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. All right, okay. I don't think it's unrealistic. All right. Uh, like, my first counter happen. pick is my first counter pick is Exoprimal. Exoprimal. That's that's a good pick as well. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, think it looks Chris like Davis, what's your first counter pick? See, here, here's my question. Am I obligated to do a counter pick? Yes, everybody has you to. You absolutely it. have you to. Have it's to. supposed to be hard. It's at, supposed at to be hard. It's supposed one... to be risky. No, can I do just one? Can I go? No, you had, you have two? to have two. You have to do if two we're all doing picks. two tonight, we have to do two. Oh, fuck. Oh, I should have counted. It's supposed myself. to be hard. Okay. Crispy's counter pick, by the time it gets back to him, is going to be insanely difficult. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me give you a hint. Uh, Chris Davis, you should because go ahead you, and pick. You stand to lose a lot, but counter picks okay. are supposed to You should go ahead and pick if, The if Legend Chris, of Zelda, gonna... Tears, of the King, Tears of the Kingdom, or Tears of the Kingdom. Sorry. If, if Chris is going to counter pick me, I'm going to counter pick him by <laughs> picking uh, Armor Core 6. Armor <laughs> Core 6? <laughs> I don't think that game is coming out this year. <laughs> I mean, I think. I think. I think do- Armor Core 6 is not a crazy counter pick. Okay, so you got to realize, Chris Davis, if you're wrong about that and it does come out, you're going to lose a lot of points. <laughs> potentially. Potentially a lot of points. If it scores really well. If it scores okay. really well, yeah. If it comes that, out... That's and the it, thing, right? If it scores an 85, you lose 15 points. If it comes out and scores an 85, you lose 15 points. If it comes out but, and scores you know, a 60, then you get 10 points. You gain points. Yeah. But that's so rare, right? So people who are just I mean, tuning in, game like counter Exo picks Prime. are basically betting on whether on games other people have picked that you think are either going to not come out or they're going to be yeah. bad. And for every point below 70... Yeah. That they score, you get a point. Uh, yeah, if he, if like, it doesn't come out, you get his. I'll, if I am forced to pit, make a counter pick, yes, that you... is in my eyes the 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 least painful one of everything else that's left. Okay, that's interesting. All right, you've committed there. All right, uh, so Carlos, what's your counter pick? He's thinking, he's thinking. And you can't counterpick yourself. Yeah. In case you're wondering. Okay, no. Uh okay. I'm counterpicking Ultra Kill. Ultra Kill. Mm. Wait, isn't is that the one that Ultra you played? Kill. And uh, Yeah, but I don't think it's coming out this year. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh. Fair it up. All right. Doing a little re- research on the side. My my first I'm gonna go with Forza Her no, I'm just kidding. Uh, he said, uh, "Locking it." Uh, <laughs> Wait, we don't. It could slip. Oh, my! Oh, uh, routine. 
Yeah, that's a good uh, one. I'm going with routine. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's a good counter pick. Honestly, okay. zero is probably the best you can expect to get in a counter pick. All right, that's uh, a good, Nolan, that's a good what's your pick. what's your first counter pick? <laughs> Those, these are fun. <laughs> he you get he gets two. He gets two. Yeah, he gets to pick that. both. I, that's right. what I'm saying. I'm very fucked right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out. Um, not as fucked as crispy. No, I understand. I understand. I forgot. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting a tattoo. We're not actually no, betting no on tattoos, tattoos, Chris Davis. You know, no one picked a game that is a a big game that will score well that is announced for 2023 release, and that's that's a Final Fantasy VII remake uh, Afterbirth or whatever it's called. Yeah. Rebirth. Rebirth. Mm. Uh, I, no I one, didn't. No one picked that. That like, one didn't that even has, cross my that mind. Stands to win a lot of wins. I I don't really? think that's a 2023 game. All right, mm-hmm. you're probably right. Maybe you're right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be hard. My second pick is gonna be hard. Counter picking Ultra Kill. Hmm. What do you know? You 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 don't think it's gonna? I looked I looked it up, and I think they're still planning to hit this year. New Blood games. They all take their time. Like Faith took their time. Dusk took their time. Oh, I they're... know. I know. And like, the, like layers. I didn't pick Gloomwood, even though I think Gloomwood's going to be really cool because I know they take their time. But Ultra Kill's been out for a long time. I think it's, I think it's planned to release like late in the year, and it's just going to slip into the next year. All right, th- this is tough. Awesome. I- I'm kind of going down a similar route with that, um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to pick Warhammer. Warhammer. Okay. I think there's a potential that Ooh, one might that's slip. That's a good counter pick. That's a good counter pick. Yeah. All righty. And. Uh, I, I mean, like, even oh, the no. first one was beloved and it didn't even score that. No, <laughs> no. Hold on. I just clicked the wrong fucking thing. Well, Hold yeah, on. you oh, you had told us we're only supposed to do you one counter pick to... originally tonight. Well, that's what it was oh. set up. Oh, OK. Wait, so I... Because there's going to be more games added to everyone's roster, right? Yeah, that, that's that's the thing. Know, is but... There's the potential mm-hmm. that I get it, Brad. I get it. it but, but the only thing is, is in theory, if we do if we do the other counter pick tonight, in theory, any game I pick going forward is safe. You know what I'm saying? I, kinda, I know, but, like, so but I get it. I get what you're saying. I get what you're, you're saying. Right, but you it, have it, to make a choice people... now of how many points you want to lose. Essentially, is what you're doing because we've all chosen no, what I'm saying games is that will probably people... come. Hmm. It okay, gives people I'm, freedom I'm to drop their mistakes. I'm I'm down to do another counter pick now, and I can tell you what the game is. I'm immediately ready to go. I'm ready to do, do you want me to, to change it? it? I'm okay, down to do it. Well, uh, I don't know what Nick's thinking right now. Let's, I mean, I have I'm to change the it. settings right now if you if you want me to do it. Let's fucking like, do it. We'll do it live, Nick. I, I think we'll our, do our, it live. Our, Let's do it. Our counter picks have been pretty safe. It, it'll get dangerous if we keep going. But but Let's the go. only the only thing I'm thinking is is it 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 gives us free reign to kind of drop stuff. Do you want right? me to change it? Do it. I need I need um, to find out right now. I mean, do do y'all want to vote? Let's vote. Oh my god. I am running out of time, so I mean, I'm I'm happy to not do the second counter pick, but oh, now I think you are just afraid of it. I'm I'm down. It's this more is... exciting if we do it now, and this is someone it who is? has to leave in ten minutes. All right, let's all do right. it. Let's change the setting. What's yeah, your vote I... for? No, <laughs> that I said oh, we do it. Uh, never mind. It's, it's it won't even let me change it. It says can't change the That's number of dra- number of drafted counter picks oh, after the draft. Yeah. I feel like these counter picks are too safe. Ah, well. But hey, hey, we can we can officially do them, and Nick will just fill them in later. Let's officially. That's pick true. Them. We could. Yeah, we could. Just we could just do I, them. Do okay. them and fill them in later. How do I do I'm, that? I'm okay. ready to pick it right now. We just write it down. We have a. We're having video and audio evidence of what we're picking. I guess that's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god! You're gonna I mean, you gotta fix my, my orange, orange one, anyways. Okay, Nolan, what's your second well, counter pick? Y'all understand why it's going to get spicier now, yeah, right? For sure, for sure. My all second right. counter pick. We don't want people dropping their, doing all the research and realizing they made bad picks and then dropping them. You know. All right, Nolan, what's your second counter pick? Hogwarts Legacy. All right, I knew that was. I knew that was. I knew that was coming. <laughs> See, this is the drama I was looking for. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so now I I get to pick one more. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Oh my god. Ooh, I have a potentially good one, I think. Let me just do a quick rundown real quick. It's good, because I feel like 
Yeah. I mean, it's spicy. Ooh. This is a spicy counterfeit. Because that's a high profile game. Oh, God. I am no, sure I'm torn is. between two right now. Oh, and I hate to even do this. I fucking hate to Come do on, this. Nick. Hit me. Hit me. Hit Atomic me, Heart. One more time. Ooh. Wait, didn't you pick Atomic Heart? No, Crispy oh, got I Atomic did. Heart. I would have picked it. That's a good counterpick. Yeah, it's a smart really... counterpick. I like it. I like uh, it. So right. that, that kind of so that when like I a... win, I win extra hard because you guys are coming for the king. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that means Carlos. What's your second pick? Mm. Fuck. Nick. This is getting tough. Nick, I'm gonna let you choose for me. No, I <laughs> can't do that. Do you want me to tell you the names, or do you want me to give you two numbers? Give me the give, give, give me the names. Wait, no. Just give me the numbers. One or two? Two. Alan Wake 2. Alan Ooh. Wake 2. Is that why you said it to me? Wow. They were both on my list? I see. Yeah, they're both on your list. So I see. That means you can't drop it. See, this is why. This is, oh the, this is the shit. Okay, uh, Chris Davis, what's your second oh, pick? You, you, oh, you took fuck. Atomic Heart for me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, you were gonna counter. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't feel anything about that game. I don't trust it. Um, oh, what's gonna, this is getting crazy. <laughs> okay, all right. Forza. Wild Hearts. Ah, uh, that was the one Ooh, I was torn between. It was between okay. Atomic Hearts and Wild Hearts. Okay, okay. Well, that's I funny. Atomic that Heart and Wild Hearts. About that game, Monster so Hunter y'all. fans are going to have a taste of that, and they are going to get upset, and they're just going to wait for a new Monster but Hunter. But you know what? See, the reviews now, have already now been Now we're in. losing points here. And this, is, this is what I wanted to happen. We're all going to be losing points now. Dude, three of you are coming after games I picked. Like, You guys are handing me this whole thing. Coming for the king, I guess. All right, uh, and... Where does that put? Oh, Brad, what's your second pick? My turn. Yep. Oh God, there's there's Slim Pickens left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Okay. Hmm. The thing is, do I go with like something I think might be delayed, or I guess might be delayed and might not be amazing? Is those are the two safest good. bets? I think I know what Carlos's other one was off next list. Oh, I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure I know what it was too. Oh, then there was that game that Chris Davis said he hated. Come on, bro. I did did a little bit of research. People seem kind of down on it, too. (sighs) What am I hating on? You were hating... Brad, you're down 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 to five minutes. I don't want to give a softball to Crispy, so I'm going to keep it to myself. I know I have five minutes. I'm not worried about that. This is too important. Shut up. I could. I, I could. I, I'm. I stand to lose a lot of points here. This ain't no fucking four player minute. I don't give a shit what Nick says. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although it is sad, I never get to hear Nick's four player minutes. <clears throat> okay. Just while, um, while Brad's thinking. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Brad. Apparently, he's still thinking. Trying to be smart about. And that's fine. I was just gonna say that Brad. It's tough. The gonna, second to last yeah. counter pick. We're going to know a little more about his score pretty soon because he has two games coming up in the next like 20 days. Yeah, I know. I know. Also, Look, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this much. Not everything is sunshine and roses for this new Fire Emblem game. They are taking a risk. It's a weird one. Brad, you said so we'll second see. to last. This is your last counter pick. No, no, but then Crispy's got to go. Uh, I'm saying uh, yeah, this is yeah. the second to last counter pick, which counter picks are fucking hard. Right. Okay. I am going to go with. God, I don't like this. Oh my god! I don't like this at all. This feels bad. Fucking killing me. Shut up, Nick. Shut up, Nick. Two seconds ago, you were like, "No, no, no." I have to pee. <laughs> and Crispy really has to pee. <laughs> Do it for his bladder. Come I'm on. gonna go with just because I feel like no. Uh, Oh my god! <laughs> you indecisive <laughs> piece of shit! Come on! What are y'all gonna be mad, right? mad at me? Do, do y'all y'all gotta y'all's wife? Dude, I'm trying to bed in your. I'm room like I I'm like, and I'm like actually sweating here. Like like I'm trying to like write in this little tiny journal with this pen, and the pen's oh, like slipping well, out of my I, hand. If you, if, Nick, if you're writing, I already have them all written down as well in a doc, oh. and I'll post it in our chat. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> you're good. Don't worry about it, Nick. I got I, it. I also gotta remember. 
just the just Brad's the one who's been busting our chops all night about going faster, and then we get to the very end, and he's the one <laughs> hey, that's gonna drag his balls he, across the there, finish line. Every one of his picks. Every one of his picks has taken. Because I'm the one who has a hard out. It's the only reason I bring up time, and y'all don't. We don't care about your hard outs, bro. And say the game. <laughs> y'all are being really rude to me. <laughs> This is this is like the hardest thing just, to just do. Just flip thirty two coins real quick, Brad, and make your choice. You know, uh, crispy. If you wanted to go pee, you probably could right now. <laughs> yeah. You might want to get up first, but yeah. Uh... This is a podcast. He's not even. He's not even talking. I know, right? Uh, now yeah, I'm just trying to. Convinced. Now yeah, I'm just why trying don't to fill. Just berate me some more. I'm just trying to fill the space. <laughs> Here we go. I'm trying to fill the negative space now. Go ahead, go ahead. Your feet are big and dumb looking. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a hobbit, but you're tall. I am going to counterpick. <laughs> I'm going to counterpick. Um, if he says it one me. more time. <laughs> I'm going to pee right here. <laughs> just boot him from the call. No, it'll ruin the scene. I mean, scene. you can go pee real quick, Chris. Chris oh Chris, my God, you'll pee. talk to me. Pick. <laughs> Just pick, pick Tears Chris, of the Kingdom Chris, and move on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go for it, please. It's please still available. It. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm counterpicking Company of Heroes 3. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. All right. Chris, Crispy, your choice. I'm pretty sure you've already had this figured out, huh? Yeah, I've got two that I'm... And we can't double up, right? Like, I can't pick counter picks that somebody else picked, right? Nope. Wait, do you have to pick two or just no. one? No, he has he to pick one. one. He, Crispy just has one counter pick. This, this is it. No, he, 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 he cannot pick one that someone else has already counter picked. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording, though, and export it, if you are All okay right. with that. Sounds good. Uh, Thank you, Brad. Uh, here we you go. don't want to hear Crispy's last counterpick? No, I'm, I'm going to counterpick The Expanse, Telltale. Ooh. Damn. You, I, that, that was my other one. That was the other it was one, on, right? It was on even, my list, Even too. if it comes out, they you don't really like jerks. super well. They don't really do like super well. So I was thinking about it. That was my other one, Crispy. All right. That was what I was taking so long to decide between. Well, you made the wrong choice. (laughs) All right. So, guys, uh, Crispy has to pee. So we're going to wrap this podcast up. up On on Company of Heroes 3. Oh, that's what he was doing. He was reading an article about Company of Heroes 3 (laughs) while he was actually pretending like he was thinking. All right. No, no, earlier. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was considering it as a pick. Because PC strategy games right, right, right. pretty well. But it seems like a lot of people are kind of unhappy with it. So we'll see. That's fair. Okay, guys, that's that's going to do it tonight. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this. This is our first ever fantasy critic draft or league that we're doing. I, I really enjoyed this myself. Uh, as we mentioned, we've only done, this is only the initial draft. We're going to have a total of 12 games on each, uh, each lineup by the end of the year. So we will revisit at the end of the month, every month uh, on the podcast. Last podcast of the month, we'll revisit, see where we where we stand, what games have come out, what they're scoring and everything so we can kind of get a feel for it throughout the year. So that'll, that'll be fun. And then around middle of the year, after E3 or whatever E3 equivalent has, has wrapped up, we will uh, do an update podcast and we will fill out the rest of our roster, essentially. So we hope you enjoyed it. I know this is not a comprehensive list of all the games coming out like we normally do, but I think this makes it a little bit more fun. Uh, so I'll also be posting the links and everything that you need to find to keep track of this. If you want to follow it, you can follow us on fantasycritic.games. I'll post the link to the, to the league in the show notes uh, and Discord and all that stuff. So um, next week, we'll be back with a regular podcast, our first regular podcast of the year. So uh, it should be fun. And uh, in the meantime... You can find us on 4 You can find us in Discord at discord.gg slash 4player. And uh, don't forget to watch our 2022 Game of the Year videos. If you haven't already, we'd love to hear from you. Um, good night. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.